to going off that then let's talk about these virals because these things have been going viral recently obviously you've had that um shaku on the beat as well girl then there was that i am my yay is different to your yay he's guy. even doing the hand movements so, the, bruv he convinced me when he said that i believed his yay was different but <laughs> okay 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 okay, okay. <laughs> i believe his yay I, don't, was I don't get this thing but, well, right. it, 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 i'm that's, with you that's me dipping old, sauce and then Bip, dipping sauce, sauce. See? Right. This, this girl because like, I haven't seen the original video but the uh, Shaku on the beat the, apparently she was a poor singer and because of a, a, a conversation she had with somebody else it got viral okay mm-hmm. she's Nigerian yeah. I can't I don't is that, know. that's your default question isn't it no but Shaku is, I, 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 is, is, I, I, is I a dance isn't it yeah, but no, but she says, right. Shaku on the beat as well Shaku <laughs> on the beat as well you have to have the <laughs> but this Love my yay is different than your yay thing mm. my yeah. yay is different you to your yay because I I was late to it, but mm. from what I hear, he's got a decent voice. Yeah, he's right. good. Yeah, all right. So he's a decent singer. He's just saying a line which I don't get. What it, but you can get kind of get what it means. You don't have to know what yeah is. But mm. like my swag is different than your swag, and yeah, my yeah. levels are different. I'm just assuming. Yeah, yeah. So what is, what is it about this small clip that is that, okay? That, Let me explain. What, to what? Okay, go Let on. Me explain explain to you. It. The man said, "Yeah, yeah, yeah." My yeah is. It's like he just came in and he was like. <laughs> I was possessed. But I was like, yes, your yay is different, bruv. And it's like, I, I agreed with the fact that his yay was different. I was convinced that whatever the yay was, he had it more than I did. Because he, you said it and he meant it. Yo, 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 yo. <laughs> Buster, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, cats and dogs, rodents and other small insects, welcome to another episode of the Eloquently Saying Nothing podcast. I am Stavros Boss, and in the room with me tonight, I have Mr. Wolf. Yes, people, what's going on? We seldom appreciate what we have until we lose the thing. Familiar, familiar Alec. Can't I say that word? Familiarity. Familiarity <laughs> breeds contempt. <laughs> Why can't I say that word? But anyway, what's going on, people? Nice to see you, or nice to hear you. I'm glad that you're in our presence today. You can catch me, Mr. Wolf, on AKA Mr. Wolf on Insta, AKA underscore Mr. Wolf on Twitter. And Stavros, the boss, Windjoss, is adjusting my settings. How do I sound, bro? You go up and down a lot, you fluctuate. All right. And we also have Big Wahala. What's good, people? At Big Wahala on Insta, Big Wahala on Twitter. What's good? And uh, clearly, I didn't make him loud enough as well. So, um, yeah, oh, maybe it's because I was I didn't give it as much vim. Yeah, well, there we are. Yeah. At Big Wahala on Insta, at Big Wahala on Twitter. Um, tried yeah, to, you, to go on cool, innit? That's the three of us in the room tonight. Uh, hopefully, one other person will join us. They're en route, so you can be surprised and find out who that is when they get here. If they get here, you can catch us collectively at ESN Podcast on all your social medias. Use the hashtag ESN Pod to join in the conversation. Please do so. I want more information or about your views actually on the vaccination thing. We got some got some views, but I just want some more. So I'm just popping out in this in the beginning now because I want to discuss that with people. Um, and yeah, you can catch me at Stavros Bus personally. All right. This week, Mr. Wolf was Mr. Host, and I, I was Why not prepared. Why are you trying to hot me for? Bro, it's, on, it's actually on the end of the last podcast, <laughs> so people could go to episode 96. Oh, for real? And, and they'll, yeah, they'll hear it. <laughs> so um, that's not a problem. But I came in unprepared, like a woman that said, let's bang, and I didn't have protection or any arousal <laughs> capacities. <laughs> yeah. So I had to take a time out and, uh, and work my way into, the, in, into things. But in the meantime... Big Wahala said he's got a lot of things he wants to get off his chest and he's happy to toss in them situations. Or should we just talk about our week and all, all, all that rubbish first? I don't have much of a week this week, so I don't have to talk about my week. Mr. Wolf always has a week. Yeah, so it's up always. To yeah, man, because you, you actually live life. Got mm, I don't say. know. Do you know what? Last week I never mentioned my parents' wedding anniversary, so that, 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 you know, I can't, what is it now? Like 44, I think. I thought it would be more. Yeah, it, no, it's about 44, 45. Okay. I well, congr- congratulations yeah. to the Baba and Mama. Oh, yeah, man. So large up to them. We enjoy, um, we enjoy you know. Yeah. Uh, not much this week. Just, you know, the kids and that's it. Barbershop today was fun. Uh, we are recording on a Saturday and um, Liverpool played Arsenal today. And I tell you, the atmosphere in there was mad. Finished 1-1. 
And there's a couple like a blood clots. Yeah, there's a couple wild Arsenal man in there, and yeah, it got tasty in there, man. I love the barber shop. Trust me, if you have any young boys, uh, you have to make sure that they go to the barber shop. Trust me, rites of passage. Believe that. Uh, mm-hmm. uh, and and women, don't be scared to go in there. Yeah, don't be scared. Is it a place though? Go in there and uh, introduce yourself and just say what, Jim, you want your son to have. No, it's intimidating sometimes for women. Yeah, and I'm saying if you go in there, it's. It, I think it may seem intimidating, but mm-hmm. go in there. Talk for your own barbers, not for everyone. I'm talking for my own and I'm talking for others that I know of, especially on that strip. There's quite a few barbers down there. Okay. So, so, so um, you know he lives in the black area. Yeah, man. I'm, listen, it's full of men talking loud and I can understand why it would seem intimidating but more so, more time when a woman comes in you know it's nothing you come in you take a seat and you wait your turn yeah shout out Georgette from uh, uh, Just, Just a Tip, Tip. Podcast because apparently she's hustled her way now she doesn't have to pay for haircuts anymore oh my yeah, you, heard, you, hustler, you, know? you know she was a guest a, a couple of weeks ago and we were talking about her short hair and now she you know mm. so she's like she doesn't she doesn't pay to get a haircut right. I said you better watch out you know what the guy must be moving to? Uh, nobody does anything for free. That's yeah. what I'm saying. That's the, what I'm the saying. Best thing in life are for free, and haircuts is not one of the best <laughs> things in life. <laughs> Believe that. Yeah. He's gonna move to you, you know. Mm-hmm. Trust that. Mm-hmm. I don't think she cares. I don't think she cares. Yeah. 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 That's why she consent. She could just say no. Innit? I, I, I'm, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah, and then and then he'll just charge her next time. No, he will just put the hairline back. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you would have chat to man like me, yeah? Your hairline's going back. Like what do you sh- think man do this for free for nothing? Are you mad? What would you do if your missus had a short crop? So you went to the barbers and the barber always waved a fee. And she said, I know why he's doing it, but obviously I'm with you, blah, blah, blah. I don't even flirt with him. But, you know, deep down inside, I'm sure he's going to try a thing at some point. So you allow it. Let's just get past that. Yeah, you allow it. Because mm-hmm. I'm, I'm sure certain people wouldn't even allow that. Bit. It's mm-hmm. like pay. Mm-hmm. But you allow that bit. After a few months, he, ch- he, he shoots his shot. She shoots him down. He's not rude or nothing. He said, oh, okay, sorry, I didn't realize you had a man. Yeah. And then he, he messes up a headline. The, the the same day that she that she shoots him down, he messes it up. What are you saying? I might laugh, you know. <laughs> 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 I might laugh, you know. Man, like, Chris... For months, oh, never, 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 never. Especially if her truth is better than mine as well. It was always laugh. better than yours. Yeah, but I laugh. It was you, always man. better than yours, and I then laugh. she come now, and it's all like, well, like uh, Edward Scissorhands went went mad on her. Well, in the end, she knows that it was coming because she knows that it was at one point she's gonna have to tell him down, and that haircut's gonna stop. Maybe she didn't know the hairline was gonna get pushed back, like yes. our release dates. But, yeah, you know what I mean. I don't know. <laughs> Push back to yesterday, you know. Well, Damn. Um, you know, what halfway I'm line, boy. Damn. I would like, you know, to be honest, I'd be like. I don't blame the dude. Yeah, you maybe you, nah, you let me under bad false pretenses, but you know it was. It's no, bad no. man, but her getting a haircut was too a bad man situation. Isn't if it? she knows that the guy, if she knows yeah. that the guy's gonna want something, and why that's is why he's she doing bad it. man? Because she's using him. He's using her, or he's he's trying They're to using use each her. other, isn't it? Yeah. So well, he used the Clippers. To oh, push you back know, what, is he actually using her? He's not using her. He, not, he's trying to get something. Yeah. He's not. He hasn't actually. He hasn't used her yet. Yeah. And then if he gets what he wants, then he hasn't really used her. He's just made a contra deal kind of thing mm. but she's using him because she's getting something out of it and she ain't doing nothing I see, I'll just touch I'll touch where the boot patches and be like it's alright baby <laughs> <laughs> I love you I don't know if I'm I'm not gonna be for it because yeah, yeah. you can't you can't even you can't you know, 100% say sh- sure he did it on purpose either yeah, maybe the shock of the, the heartbreak. Yeah. Mm, mm. Maybe he was, you know, <laughs> wiping Mr. away Big. the tears, and as he was there, you know. what the hell is going on? Are you, are you, are you singing on? R. Kelly? I'm singing. Um, yes, I didn't sing R. Kelly's bits. <laughs> he wrote that song, did he? I'm yes, sure. R. Kelly wrote uh, every song. Uh, R. Kelly anything, wrote the Bible. anything R. Kelly said, he wrote, man. Yes. No one writes for R. Kelly, man. Yeah, nobody oh. writes for R. Kelly. Oh, fair enough. Then. Anyway, so go R. ahead. All right, so carry on singing, bro. There's a couple things. Please, no. There's a couple things that um. I've, even that just popped into my head um, th- today, but one of them was I, I was talking to the gathering. You know, the, you know, I've got time and love for the gathering about a situation that was popping off on the timeline. The timeline was popping this week with nonsense. They don't talk to me no more, by the way. Why? Why? I haven't even said nothing to you, right, people. Why have you done? You know, I realized actually. I, this is why people must think I, I'm, I'm, I, I, I've got a big um, e- ego. Not ego. Like I, I'm always. How do you put it? Because basically, I, 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 I shout my blessings. But the things that go wrong, I don't say. I don't say nothing. When I got B for certain sign up, I realized I, I keep my mouth closed. I was telling my missus the other day because you sent something in the group. I was like, I don't think I've even told these men that they had an issue with me 
and um, or I had an issue with them or whatever. And and what that. issue did you have with them, bro? Um, you, know, you don't have to bring it on the time on the thing, man. Tell us why not? after. Yeah, I'll tell you after. Yeah. But it's not a big deal. And yes, we still have we still got love for them. They, you know, it's not it's not a, an issue or nothing. But okay. so, right. yeah, it's not a massive thing. All right. So anyway, so oh, the, one of the things we were talking about, I think on the timeline last week, was something to do with. Um, I think somebody said that they they have their missus or their man put on weight. Yeah. And when they put on weight, they no longer find that person attractive. And so they left them, basically. Ooh. I think that's what happened. Yeah, yeah. So then people were like, how can you leave your partner, you know, just because they put on some weight? And it was going back and forth. But some people say, well, if I'm attracted to you by your because of the way you look now and you put on weight and I'm no longer attracted to you, should I just stay stay with you because we was together? Or should I stay with you because I want you to be with you? If I no longer want to be with you because I'm not attracted to you, how does that work? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So anyway, so the gathering must have put something on. I don't know where, I don't know how it was, but the gathering must have said something about. Um, well, I don't know which one. Obviously, you never, I never know which one it is. But they said that um, they was with their partner, mm. and they were putting on weight. They got comfortable. They was putting on weight. There the, wasn't really the, the woman or the, the man, the man, the man and the woman. But she was talking about the man. You know, he was putting on weight, and I was, when he was, I saw that he was putting on weight. He had no interest in trying to lose that weight. When I met him, he wasn't like that. So basically, I left him. And I have no surprise there. All right. So then, um, but then I said, oh, okay. Ooh. I said, ooh. She goes, and they also said, oh, I was also putting on weight as well. You know, I thought to myself, I was letting myself go as well because he was also letting, it was, it's like we was happy to let each other go at the time. Mm. And then obviously at that, then one point I was like, nah, this is not good. So I started to, you know, fix up. That's what she was saying. And then, um, you know, he just was carrying on as normal. Like, oh, you're going to gym. That's nice. Blah, blah, blah. And then eventually she left him basically. Right. So then I was like, to me, he just sounded like he was content. Content with? Life. Life. He was happy. That's why okay. he was all right to put on weight. That's why he didn't care whether or not she was putting on weight. And he thought everything was fine. And then obviously, <laughs> you didn't feel that same way. Eventually, you told him and you left him because of it. But it's mad. Yeah, but she, she gave him a chance to lose weight first. I don't know. No, I, I don't know. I was going to ask I don't that. know whether or not she spoke to him about his I mean. weight. Yeah, I'm, but assuming, I don't, I, I'm, I'm assuming they did. I don't know if she did. Yeah. Because she was just like, he was just taking, he was just quite happily to put on his weight. And he, she would, she, the way that it made it sound like she wanted him to make the initiative to do that. And he just wasn't even looking like he was doing it. And because of that, she, she said bounced. God damn. So then I must have said, it's hard, man. cold as ice. I must have said there, <laughs> on, the, on the thread, like, well, you know, because women, they're, 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 it's like women are the women hate content women hate being content women are always looking for the next best thing better thing always looking for them ambition always looking for somebody to be better than what they are and men ultimate goal is to be content like as a man your ultimate goal is to be content to just be happy just be cool just you know not I think you'll find the women that are like that as well sorry I think you'll find women that are like there, that. There are some well. women like that, but I, th- yeah. I think it is more of a male trait to find somewhere. Um, even I say male trait, I just think it's, it, you find it more in some men than because we, you all know super ambitious men that you actually look at them and you sit there and so, realize you're actually never going to be happy in life because you always want the next thing. You always want the next thing. You always want. So it's not that it's just women, but I do think it's more of a female thing than a male thing. Especially, and I'd say that in general, it's it's um it, it can be almost even yeah but in relationships it is definitely skewed towards the woman definitely the woman is always looking for more in a relationship always looking for the next step always looking for the higher ground and a man gets to a point where like while i said he's happy he's got his big screen tv in his house with his child and a woman that he loves and a bear on his side and he is now happy He's content. Yeah. And he doesn't need any more than that. Mm, I mean, it, more is good. Mm, yeah. It's, but I don't it, need but, it but, on a day to day basis. Yeah. He's not urging me to, to go and do more. Like, you can earn your money. You can come home, earn enough money to be live good. You know, do what you're doing. See your family. Be cool. And you're just content. But you tend to find that you're a woman still thinks that there's more you could be doing. Like, it's like, it's like, it's like the, I see being content as the same as being lazy. I'll, I'll, times. I'm not going to say just more because you said more you could be doing uh, just in general for themselves and the man as well yeah yeah but I, sometimes I think it's more of them because they're not content in it they already know that they, they can do more and they're actively trying to do more but they want you to join them on that journey of doing more where well, you are just happily doing what you're doing so in, so let's use the, the gym for example you're not happy with your weight because you've now put on weight I'm quite happy with the weight that I put on I'm fine with that weight but because you're not happy with that weight and you feel like I shouldn't be happy with that weight 
you're now trying to spur me on to go to the gym. And because I don't join you in the gym, because I'm quite happy with my weight, I've now done something wrong because now I, sh- I, should, feel, uh, uh, I should feel ashamed of myself, basically, for being that weight. It, well, sense? the fundamental thing is whether they had a sit-down conversation about this. If she never spoke to him about it and she just bounced, then to me, that's just bad. No, the bounce, I don't and even then, care about all of that, to be honest. Well, for me, the, you know, if someone is changing before you and you are starting to lose that little bit of, uh, I don't know, attractive nature towards your partner, then say something in it and then kind of encourage them and say, you know what, let's do this. Let's do this together. But, you know what I mean? That, and And then if he then says, you know what, nah, I don't want to, then you can say fine. But just, you know, kind of looking at it and thinking <coughs> about it and you going to the gym yourself and because they haven't followed you, you just bounce. I think like, come on, man, give the guy a chance to actually have a go, innit? To be honest, I don't care about that bit. That's not the story for bit for me. The bit I, I, I want to discuss is the fact that I feel that men, when they are content, are quite happy to be content. And yeah. I think that it's the... the, the it's not the same for women. I think women are always looking for the next thing. Either it's the next best thing or the thing above where they are. They they are ambitious and they want people to match their ambition. And if they haven't got a man next to them that's matching that ambition, even though they're happy, there's a problem. Yeah, I don't know, man. I, I think that there's many a man that's ambitious, but I, I don't know how you kind of draw... But the both of you, really, how you come to that conclusion. I didn't say that men are not ambitious. No, no. But I said when they get to a certain point where they then become content. Because you can be ambitious and say, look, I want to get this car, this house, this whatever. And then when you get it, this is what I wanted to get. I've got it. That person was ambition. They had the ambition to get that, but they've got it now. So I'm cool. I don't need to do anything extra because I've got what I wanted. That was my goal. But there's people then after that when you got to that goal, they're like, well, so, you know, okay, let's say that you, you, you become a director of the company. Mm. And some people are like, okay, you're director of the company. And I said, why are you not starting another company? Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, it, why? It, why? It's, 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 the, it's the difference between walking upstairs and walking on a treadmill. There are some people that walk upstairs. And I, I believe I'm one of those people. And uh, you can walk upstairs, and, but there's landings and it gets to the point where you get to the top of the stairs. And yeah, you can you can create new stairs. Yeah, you can go to a new building and walk up some some more stairs. But once you get to the top of the building, that's it. When you're on a treadmill, the treadmill never stops. The treadmill never stops. Mm-hmm. And and there are people that men and women. I'm so I know you. I didn't, I didn't say just just men uh, just women do it. Mm. There are people that are their their comfort zone. Their comfort zone is the treadmill. That's what they feel comfortable with. They don't even feel comfortable with the stairs. They go on the stairs and when they get to the top, it's like, what's this? This, this is not what sh- life should be. Life shouldn't be about stopping mm. at, at a certain point. You need to keep walking. Yeah, Let I- me find a treadmill because I need to keep walking. And that's what makes them happy. That's what pushes them. That's what drives them. I don't know if it makes them happy though. Well, okay. In, in the short term, I don't, I don't think... No, let me not, let me not talk for those people. Uh, in the short term, that's what makes them happy. You know what? Because I'm, I'm, uh, maybe I need to put it a bit the more... Hus- like- the hustle makes them... That's, that's part of... What makes them them, isn't it? I need to put it a mm. bit more like Stav says. So I don't think it's... I, I think that men are very ambitious when they're single. <laughs> I think that when they get into a relationship, then they, they're looking more to be content. You know what, actually? I was going to talk about this thing last week and I forgot to talk about it. It was the um, Will Smith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Jada. The one of the, I watched the first part. I haven't watched the second part. So this is this is the uh, Will, the Red Table with uh, Jada Pinkett Smith, her mum and her daughter. And they get a guest on and I think and they discuss things. This is the only one I've ever seen before, but I've heard about it. They show it on YouTube. So this one with Will Smith, for some reason I watched it. And they were talking about their relationships and uh, how they got together, which was mm, is a, mad, saw, is a, is a, is a mad story, actually. Um, and yada, yada, yada. But some of the things they were talking about were Will Smith said that he always knew he wanted to be married from young. From He said, from five years old, I was imagining myself being married with, with a family. And he said he got to the point in life where he realised that he he can only be his best in a relationship or for his woman. And I said, that's me. So it's the complete opposite of what you're saying. I only become focused and driven for my woman and for, for my... No, that's not what from, I, 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 my, I... You're You're saying something different. But I, said, I said, I'm super ambitious. Yeah, well, so when they're the, single and then when they're in a relationship they're looking to be content so what's the difference you're saying that because he could still be you can be the best of your of who you are and still be content 
I was just wanted to, to say my thing. I thought that. I thought, <laughs> no, that, that kind of led on, but you know, it's nice just cool. story, bro. Yeah, it sounds it's, good. It's, it sounds it's, good. It's, it's coming up to say things. No, because you <laughs> said to me, you said you off. openly said to me that I what I was said was the complete. What you said to me was um, I do think it's opposite, I do. I don't, think, I don't think it is. But I, I, I anyway. think if if you're if you're driven, that's ambition, isn't it? Or no? Mm, yeah, I suppose so. But so, then, so but then you're, you're still driving yourself to be content at some point. Mm. You're trying to get to your goal still, and then when you get to that goal of well, my, my, that, my goal is perpetual, perpetually to keep my woman and my um, and my child in some sort of happiness or some sort of comfort state. Mm. So if if I get to somewhere where you know it's cool, then it's cool. But if 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 I'm not at that stage, then I'm still working towards that. Yeah, but then when you get there, you'll be all right. Whereas then potentially, yeah, as long as yeah, if they're all right, then I'm all right. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Whereas some people will be like, that's not fine. That's not enough. Uh, what do you want? What more do you want? Anyway, no, let me not say that because uh, there are stages for me as well. I've talked about this when, when we spoke about having the money, and I said there's things I want to do. There's things like just when you were talking about the the barbershop earlier on, I was thinking um, if uh, Mr. Wolf came into some money, he would do something with that barbershop to make sure this is this is an important part of his life. It's an important part of what he feels is the culture and of his community. And I think that if if that Shop was ever in sort of trouble, dire straits. He would be the man to. He would have his cape on, and he would save that. Don't talk for him. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's true. Yeah, okay. And I was thinking, um, I'm trying to teach my daughter Yoruba and fancy ga. Well, I can't teach her fancy ga. I can't even teach her Yoruba because I don't know Yoruba. But I'm trying to help her learn it. And there's a, a a class in South London that does does this kind of stuff. That I'm debating maybe having to take her all the way down to South London. But they have some shows they've put on YouTube, and they've only done a few. Maybe 10, 15 or 20, whatever it is. But so I've been playing that to her because I've been at home all week. I've, I've been off work and done more work than I would have been. I should have gone, just gone to work. Anyways, and I've, they've only done that. And I realized probably they don't, they don't have the money to do it because they actually produce it, they have animations and stuff. And I was thinking, if I had money, I'd give them all the money. Look, do this because this is important. They even like say it. It's important to, to make sure that your children learn all this stuff. So it's the importance of what's the next stage? What's the next thing you'll do? Because once you, like I've always said, once I set up my family, my family is the most important thing for me. But once I've done that, yeah, there is something else. There's always something else you can do. You can't just sit, sit down in your house. Yeah, you, I, I saw that my family. Well, the thing is, oh, is that there, yeah, but there, there is some people. There's a lot of people in it that feel content, and they will do the, you know, married with kids kind of flex, where you sit on the couch, you put your hand down your uh, front trousers, and you got your remote control and your beer, and you're good. You get me, but. The people that I know, like most of my circle are not like that. I know that if they get to the point where they've reached their goal, it's okay. What are we going to do next? What do you think I'm like? Boy. I think that you're the type of person that if you get to your goal, that you'll be cool. But mm. most of the people in my circle are not like that. So I'm not ambitious is what you're saying? No, I don't think you are. No. <laughs> am, I, am I wrong? Um, I, what, what I would say is this. I was, I was with my dad earlier this week. Um. And uh, he said something the other day where he said, oh, the, 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 the women in our family are really doing well. And my mum made, mm. made a joke, what, what about the men? Because I was in the car with him at the time. And he's like, oh, no, no, I didn't mean it like that. I didn't mean it like that. Because you were talking about my daughter. She'd done something like, oh, the women in my family, they're wicked. And so my mum was defending it. So that happened a few days ago. And then a couple of days after, I was with my dad doing something with him. And uh, he was discussing another one of the women in our family doing something really prominent with uh, with a uh, university. Um, I I only just found out. You put her name on on YouTube on Google. I started st- tapping the letters. It finished it, the, her name for it. I was like, what? And she's all over Google. She's all over this because they had a video mm. where we were. I couldn't see the video, but so I was searching for it myself. And yeah, big things. That so yeah, so I was like, wow, okay. And he's like, you see, you see. And her sister's doing this, and her other sister's doing that. I'm like, and I, and I, but it was all academic stuff, and I'm not, mm. I'm not an academic. So I said, anyway, daddy, that's what impresses you. And I don't know if he if if he thought that. I was taking it like in like a bad way, and this is not like my dad as well. This is mad. So I said, anyway, that's, daddy, that's what's imp- that's what's impressing you. I understand that you know you're because he was fully excited about this stuff. And then uh, so a, a few minutes later, it must have hit him, and he's like, listen, what you're doing with your podcast is you know I wish you could have done more with it. You know I know you do a good podcast. You, you should be bigger. You guys should be bigger. You know they do podcast awards. I don't know where my dad's found that. You should have been on the podcast awards. You know and you do this. I'm so proud of you when you do this and that. And I'm looking at him sideways because like what's about that? Like because my dad doesn't comp- my dad doesn't compliment us yet. So um it's mm-hmm. it, you know you know there's something. It, it's, it's not in a bad way. It's just oh, Nigerian man, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So he's and then he carries on with this. He said what I said earlier on about the women. I didn't mean it 
like and my dad's explaining himself to me it's like this is this is mad you know i didn't mean it like that i said no don't worry <laughs> daddy i didn't take it like that he's like no it's just because these people have been doing stuff and it's in my mind i said don't worry i didn't, I didn't take it like that i didn't take it like that at all but um what i said was because he said you didn't take your podcast seriously you could have you could be at the top right now but i know you i know you yeah i know you stab you didn't take it seriously i said yes that's true he said you don't do anything seriously i said no i take being a husband and a father very seriously and i said that's the only things i take seriously to, to be honest because i because we're actually having a conversation and i actually have to think about it because he's right i do, I do just I, I just i muck about i get i get through life out of luck almost but when it comes to being a father and um a husband it's not luck. i work at mm-hmm. it and i'm good at but i'm good at those jobs and i said that's what that is mm-hmm. what is important to me that's what's important and i think that's what's important to you as well because that's what that, i learned it from you dad because that's that when i looked at my dad i didn't see super academic and I'm not saying not to say he wasn't because he was, but I didn't see that. I, I didn't see him studying all that stuff. What I saw was a, su- a dad and a husband. That's what I saw him: a super dad and a super husband. That's and, good, and that's what that's what I emulated. So when you're talking about you know forty something years with your parents, that's it's similar with mine. That's what because your parents are a bit older than mine. That's why I thought mm. your parents w- would be a bit more than mine. That's what I saw, and that's that's what I've become. I feel, and I think my brother's going down that path, but my brother has a, an, another drive that maybe I don't have with with work. I don't know. What do you think? I just I just get paid out here. <laughs> <laughs> you make this money. I just know when it's time to make money, I'll just find a way to make that make money. Make money, make. But I do I look from from me and my missus to two years later when when I knew we were getting married, twenty k twenty k increase in wage. It was just like that. Nice. And I was coasting, coasting, coasting. It's only when I said, "Oh, well, I have to be with her. Oh, I have to be a, a husband now." I just made the money. Yeah. Fine. Here's one for you. Yeah. Baby, I'm a boss. I don't know what they do. I don't get dropped. I drop the label. World can't hold me. Too much ambition. Always knew that this would be like this when I was in the kitchen. kitchen. That's Jay Z. But yeah. what, okay. Well, what's that? What's he doing? Because about? he's talking about um, his next lyric was about on dodging raindrops. On so it's on to the next one. His ambition That's the name is of the song. on. You know, he doesn't stop. He's always looking to do the next thing. And you can and see what, that in his career. And that's it? why he, he, he got the, he was claimed to be the baddest chick in the game and still cheating on her. Ambition. Maybe. <laughs> on maybe. To but one, on to the next and, one, and you on could see that next. as ambition, innit? Like, he. People say that men always want new pussy. Innit? That's what I'm saying. Women you that want me? ambitious men just know that they have ambition in everything, everything. Including, including new women, you including them. But, so but, what, but, but, you know, sticking to that topic and that subject rather than going on to the negative side he is extremely ambitious <laughs> you get me <laughs> but he's, also got, he's, 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 he's extremely ambitious he's also got an extremely ambitious wife so they match yes. each other's ambition I suppose and do you think that he would be more ambitious if uh, or less ambitious if he wasn't with her mm, I, no I think she, I think she drives him mm, I don't nah, I don't think so I hope was no. making money before yeah but before I her. think that it he's gone to another level because of his woman and I think it's kind of similar to what so. to what well, this guy was talking about. I don't about. think so. What I would think with Jay Z Will, Will Smith is that Jay Z doesn't want to be lesser than his woman. I think he's got his ego is big enough that if his woman so was, she was, drives him, uh, maybe in, subconsciously. In, you know, in, in that respect, that oh, if she's popping, then I have to pop too. If that's what you call driving, not that oh, husband do this, oh, husband I need you to do that, or and I guess I must do this for my wife. It's not, I don't think it's anything to do with his wife. I think it's to do with his, his own personal ego. Yeah. I can't be with somebody that's more popping. Than I don't me. think it's to, that. I think it's to do with his whole past. He he's, he was successful for a reason mm. because things in his life made him feel like he had to make the money. So then he t- made the money, and he's never he's never been. He's never been in a part where he's not trying to be to the next level. Before he was with Beyonce, he was being like that. So I can't attribute him being uh, ambitious to the woman that no, he was no, ambitious no. I'm not way saying, before. I'm not saying there. that he's ambitious because of her. I'm saying that she drives his ambition no, to think, another level. So, she, so he's already got the ambition there. But whilst you're with your woman, it's kind of taking its next step and it's yeah, going to another that's level. Every man, if you go, if you're not woman, necessarily, if you're, isn't if it? And, if and, and that's what we're talking about. If you're with a woman that you care about. And you want to make sure that they're okay, then you it will push you to another level. No, not no. with every man, you know, no. and that's kind of what we're talking about, isn't no, it? That no, some men wrong. have got to the point of their contentness and said, oh, "Boy, I don't care about you, yeah, boy. But I'm, content- I'm gonna put on my weight. I'm gonna eat my I'm fried not, chicken." I'm not talking about. What, I'm talking. About, I, was, I thought we were talking more about business. But I'm saying if you get to a point where you're already, you think that you're cool and your family's all right, 
You have to think that. I'm not saying that they must think it, but no. you think it. You think that you're doing enough for your family, that everyone's cool. Then, yeah, then no, you can There are men that are priorities are different than, than let's say, mine. My, my woman is before me. Yeah. So if she, if if she's not um happy, then I can't be happy. Mm. But there's some other men that they they care for their their partner, they love their partner, but their partner is not before them. You heard this a lot of actually. My my happiness comes before yours and all that rubbish. Because I don't I don't agree with that rubbish. Yeah. <laughs> so end of the day, once many they, a man think that as, way. Yeah. Once they once they've got to be one of them. I don't I don't like that, that that way of thinking at all. But anyways, that could be a separate conversation. The thing is that they're not necessarily thinking, oh, that this woman needs this and this and this, so I'm gonna hustle for it. It's like they've got what I feel is acceptable. Whether they think it's acceptable is, is not is not the is not the issue because I need what I need as well, and what I need might be is necessarily more important than what they need. I, I've, I, what, I, what I'll say is this: Yeah, you should put your your partner before you in certain situations. Yeah, but it should never get to the point where you now do not like yourself and you are not happy. If you if you if you're doing stuff that's making you unhappy to make that other person happy, I don't think that's a good thing. Yeah, but I would agree with you hundred percent. But then you are with the wrong person. Potentially, yeah. Not potentially. If making your partner happy, if that doesn't work in unison with making yourself happy. Mm. So let's say that she, that, okay, so in, in, for instance, you were talking about the gathering girls and they left because the person wasn't going to the gym. In, and you said, well, you didn't see anything wrong with that. And this would fit into that category. If that person going to the, to the gym didn't... For, no, I didn't for, say I didn't think anything wrong with it. I said that's not what I wanted to really discuss. Okay, okay. Well, let, 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 all right, fine. You didn't say that. But if what they want to do is not, to make their woman happy and that's so then you shouldn't be with that person because then their drives is not your drive mm. their, 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 mm. their movements are not your movements and maybe that's a bad example but there's just certain things in life that if when you, you feel you have to do it you need to do it so we've we've discussed me putting on weight my, my wife didn't meet me at this weight she she met me when I was, I was slimmer, so I could be in this in this in this category now where the woman could be looking at me and be like, hmm. I when I, when, I, when I met you, it was two hours. Now it's twenty five minutes. You know, you get me. This is this is not this is not the life. And you was, and you weren't breathing heavily like like Biggie before. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, that that, that 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 could be that could be part of it. But but may, but then she would say, that, well, then it's down to me to say, do I put the emphasis on going to the gym or eating healthily or whatever it is to to, to lose the weight to to be better for her. Because it's important for her. If it was important for her, then that's something I'd need to do. And if it crushes me to do it, if I can't do it, then I'm not with the right person because that person's values is different than my values. There's nothing wrong with their values or my values. It's just they're different. You're not equally yoked. Yeah, yeah. And that's when I say you shouldn't be with somebody who, when they want you or need you to do something, and you, you, in the back of your head, you kind of know you should be doing it, but you can't do it happily. It makes you feel depressed or it makes you feel down or it makes you feel like you're doing too much. That's not the right person for you. Find somebody else that when they, the type of things they want you to do, you can do and, oh yeah, this is good. I can, I can drive you up and down, the, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get that. I get that. Mm-hmm. So, so it's, not, it's not as easy as some people would like it to be though, I suppose. It, it is. It's bec- it's no, it isn't what? because so, there's times when you fall in love with people that not necessarily... You have done that. Yeah, yeah, so then it's not it always easy. Then, then, then yeah, but yeah, but the thing is that love, love is not enough. You can uh, love somebody, and it not is necessarily enough to sustain a relationship. Of course, that is another. You reason. get me. So, um, there's a lot of people that fall in love, and because they're in love, that they say, okay, well, we're in love with each other, so we have to stick to it, you, or, you, or, or we can get over everything. We can get you, over everything. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, if your partner asks you tomorrow, why do you love me? Would you be able to answer the question off the bat? Because of yeah, Stavros, you would answer now. Because of your bum. <laughs> yes. It's the yes. Nyash that haunts me. And you know my wife? She would like that answer as well. <laughs> Is that what she did? In your bum. She'd accept that answer. She'd be like, okay, the physical okay, form. Okay, okay so okay. now let me, let me um, kind of throw a curveball in here. You know, seeing as uh, the baseball season just finished. <laughs> Shout out to the Red Sox. But, um, you know, God forbid bad things. You know, the bottom gone, you know. I've told my wife. What happens then? <sighs> Breathing deeply, you know. <laughs> like this could be a big problem. But you know that we don't... Polygamy is a thing, isn't it? I know. For me... <laughs> Look at this guy. We... we yeah, guys do polygamy. We... Um, uh, Physically, we're not going to be the same in, in 10, 15, 20 years. Yeah, b- bottom, you've so, heard of anti bottom, bottom yes. stays. Yeah, but sometimes certain people change in it and it might bottom, not be stays, a change. Bottom yes, stays. It Listen, may not be a change it, for, for the better. Here's advice for you people out there, yeah? B- breasts, you can lose your breasts as you get older. Yeah, mm-hmm. They may sag or, or get smaller. Or, or the woman gets bigger so the, so the breasts seem smaller. 
yeah but bottom doesn't go nowhere yeah, sometimes if, you can if you, you want can, if you, you want can work bottom, out a lot if you, you want can some... work out a lot and the bottom can go you know bruv yeah not my not my wife though. no i'm just saying but yeah yeah because that it's it's genetic it's genetic <laughs> but I, I hear what Dana. you're saying <laughs> to answer your question all jokes aside then i just have to deal with it i've, I've married mm. her and i stand up that mm. I, I, I don't marry, i don't marry for joke I didn't, I didn't, I didn't take that lightly. Mm, mm, mm. But, but, banter. but, but, <laughs> yeah, this is banter, mate. But, you but, know. Um, I'm talking about the marriage banter, banter, banter. But to, um, to, to, to move on, because we're talking about ambition and relationships. Yeah. So, what you would do when you're with somebody to, 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 to really drive you forward? So, fraud bay. Fraud bay. I thought we should wait to. What's the name came for fraud bay, boy? Use that. You, you want to wait for him? Simple. Yeah, man. Okay, because to be honest, I haven't read the thing. Wait, wait for him. Wait for him. No it's a, it's idea, a multi-thread man. thing, and wait, I read the wait, first wait, two, and I left it. Wait for him. Wait for him. All right then. If he doesn't come, if he doesn't come near the end, we we'll drop it to the end. All right then. So then, in that case, I, I have no um, segue. <laughs> right. Let me let me go into a quick segue about ambition though, because I can segue into it. So I read something the other day about David Dean. He used to be the ex-Arsenal executive. We missed him. Big up man like David Dean, man. He messed us up, man. Him and Wenger was was the the, the killer duo unfortunately when he left things went pear shaped yep. and his bloody son was taking all our players and selling them on as well we made it even worse but anyway so he's starting an initiative with Ian Wright to get um, a, basically a, a system to input or trying to put a system in place that when young offenders or prisoners um, are coming out they're going to try and enroll them into a football program because mm. I think Ian Wright went to prison when he was young I think I'm not 100% sure mm. I, think, I think he did I don't, I don't know if I, can't, mean, I, can't remember. I remember. I can't remember. I think he did because obviously he died really sure. late, but I can't remember if that's one of the I don't say that he was in trouble with the law, but I don't know if he went to prison. I don't prison. know if he went out. But yeah. anyway, so they said, so them together decided that they want to make this initiative. And I was thinking to myself, mm, that's a really good initiative. Then I started thinking a bit more. I'm thinking, wait a minute. Prison's a proper untapped market. There must be bare ballers in prison. Bear of them. You mean untapped for, for sport? Yeah. yeah. Bear of them. Yeah. Probably boxers, footballers, uh, at any other sport. Yeah. There's probably enough of them in there that you can get, train them up, put them in the leagues and make money off of them. So you want to be a slave driver? Potentially. It's almost like another way of, of, of you know, well, we helped you out. We got you out of prison. You know, we're giving you a job. Come into our league. We're only going to offer you half the price that we offer another player because you're a prisoner and you wouldn't really get another job. But we're giving you something. So what do you, what do you think? First off, let's, what do you think about the initiative in the first place? And then what do you think about the other avenues that can take I, you down? I don't care. I was surprised you put it in the group because usually we we are aligned on the, like you know our opinions of things or things that we have opinions about. Mm. And I have no opinion on it. It's like okay, it's there. Okay, that's it. I thought it was a good idea because there are young youths that's coming out in prison. That I've, well, I've got to think about this stuff because I wanted to do something quite similar. Like when I said when I was rich, or what I wanted to do, I, I think I said it on the podcast before. Okay. Like if I was rich, I would I would want to start a chain of mechanics because there's only one chain of mechanics really, which is quick fit. So I'll start a chain of mechanics that's um, wide. And what I'll do is I'll get young offenders to come out of the, whatever they're doing, ones that are not too violent. Because um, I'm not rewarding too violent, but if you've just done maybe maybe fraud so we could go into fraud bay <laughs> <laughs> or, 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 or uh, non-violent crimes maybe like I don't know maybe selling drugs or something like that um, you come out and then what I'll do is I'll offer you a, a job in the garage what you do in the garage I'll have numerous mechanics that I'll pay good money for I have to have a lot of money obviously and mm-hmm. they'll train you guys to become an apprenticeship scheme apprenticeship scheme for the mechanics All right. but it's a bit of a difference if you then get to a certain time and you do your your years and you do everything and you do your things properly I'll give you half the business I'll give you and you manage it so you manage that business I'll give you half of it that is not a, a business you could do why because how many businesses would you need how many people or, or what you do it's such a small no, no or maybe no. I'll do it with the money then or something you, yeah you couldn't just give because then imagine you or a share a, you give them a share yeah I'll give the them shares shares or something or, or, yeah, of yeah. that particular garage shares make sense yes yeah, because, because but they, they'll, they'll have something in well, for that. the garage of the company yeah the, in, the, in that part so I don't know how to do it, but I'll find a way of doing okay, it. Okay, fair enough. So then so that's theirs. That garage is theirs. So even if they turn it into their... You can't do that. Even if they turn it into their own name and I have half of the... Sh- or 49% of the shares or something, so that or 50%, we've st- they changed the thing into a different thing. I don't know. Anyway, I will find a way. Does it have to be on the podcast? I have to now decipher <laughs> the way of how we're going to do it? Yeah, can't just- you just accept what I'm saying for now and then later on, if whatever happens, we can d- debate the, the, the business about it? Well, I'd rather not. You brought it up, I'd debate it now. But if you don't want it, it's cool. Anyway, so that's what, this I w- guy. that's what I would like, what I need to do. So that's probably why I was a bit interested about this prison thing with the football. All right. So 
When when I then I want to thought about it, I just thought to myself, this, but I'm sure they must do this in America as well with the because you know they don't pay the people that play with the college football and all of that type of stuff there. So I'm thinking that potentially this is a this is the untapped market. Yeah. For for getting new 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 people in. All right, go on. So I was just wondering. I don't know. I you want to see what you guys thought about. I, it, I don't get why you wanna why you wanna um, what's the word reward the people that go to jail. Not that's that's want to reward well, them. It's, it's not. It's not so much of a reward. It's more of a rehabilitation back into life, isn't it? So, 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 so the issue, um, you know, when when people come out of prison, a lot of the issue is um, how they can find their way back into society again. And obviously, if they're a paedophile or a rapist, it may be a different, you know, kind of. I'm giving uh, them the job. That's what I'm saying. So you're looking at kind of small petty crime kind of guys, isn't it? I'm saying guys that you. Could have been me. Could have been me. Could have been you. Okay. No. Well, what about the people then that's on 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 road that? I didn't, I say, I want, I didn't say I want to offer them jobs either. Well, yeah, but yeah, the scheme exactly. is. You didn't the, say. Well, the scheme is for them. Okay. All right. I'm not saying you can't apply to become a mechanic as well. And if you're as good as the other one, then you. Are you, you focusing it towards uh, black black people? Of course. I'm not. I, I don't even think about that. I was. <laughs> I was just. I was just checking. I don't know because you didn't mention it. Um, yeah, all right, that makes sense. So, okay, I can see the scheme, and fair enough. You said it's for uh, petty crimes, or for small crimes, or for non-violent crimes, and you want these people to have uh, because once you go to jail, it's a mark on your record. It makes it harder for you to get a job. And you're saying, listen, you've made mistakes. A lot of us have made mistakes, and um, we we di- we either didn't get caught, or we just got away with it, you know, or or uh, you know stuff like that. Mm. And uh, we were lucky. Yeah, let's say we were lucky. You were unlucky, and let 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 us guide you and assist you into um into into getting better, bigger, better things in life. In that case, it's all good. I, I see that as all good. I think there's better ways to to uh, maybe that's, that that just sounds bad by saying there's better ways you can uh, put your money. But um yeah, it's all good. It's all good in life. So what do you think, uh, Miss Wolf? Um, I think any kind of initiative to help. Um, I don't know. Are they deep? deprived youths you know i'm not gonna give it to the rich boys that's what i'm saying i mean these guys are guys that are in prison i'm assuming that they've come from a difficult backgrounds um that they uh, disadvantage disadvantaged youths um so anything to kind of help them i'm i'm down for it and obviously if it ain't mad crimes you know i mean if they haven't committed you know, some serious atrocities that you can see that there is a way back for them because there are some kids and we all know teachers, we all know people that are in um, uh, mentors and what have you. And some I've heard these words being said that some are too far gone. You need to let them go and not waste your time on them. Whereas there's others that you can see look, they've kind of, as you say, they've made a mistake or they've, you know, wrong decisions have cost them and you can see that, listen, they just need another chance because there's a lot of kids or a lot of people that when they come out of prison, they're looking to, you know, go back on the straight and narrow. They're looking to, you know, get a job, do well, buy a house or whatever. But because uh, there's this mark on their application form that they have a record, then boom, there's a problem. Okay. So you're saying that, you know, some people should potentially be rehabilitated in society there is no system that well i think there are apprenticeships and there are certain schemes um what's this other scheme that they have uh the 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 uh, apprenticeships there's, whilst there's, you're thinking whilst you're thinking of that i'm gonna insert a sound effect there it is welcome to the podcast simple simon guys are we at see i was gonna do one segue no segue, but you can wait for the segue. You can still do this thing. You can you can sit there in silence and sit, until, no, until mi, it's your mi, turn. Mister Wolf went somewhere else to segue this best up. What do you mean I went somewhere else? Because I thought you was just gonna say, yeah, of course you got the video, but I say like like, like, like fruit <laughs> but, then, but then you started to talk about actual schemes. Oh, well, and you like, want me to say two words and, and then I, segue and I, talk, I, talk yeah, about? Did like, you think of the scheme? Did you remember what it is? Yeah. Yeah. What was the scheme then? The scheme to rehabilitate. Yeah, but you said there was another one and you couldn't. Oh. It. You already forgot the thing that you forgot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't forget. I just thought you was talking about. Bruv, there's something there's else. somebody on Twitter that's that's caping for you, bro, and she's coming at me. What? She's defending me. Yes. 
Good. And in the and in the mix, I'm getting insulted. At, uh, Good. Well, you're and, getting straight bullets, yeah. And, and well, long, and long uh, may it continue. Thank uh, you, whoever you are out there that's defending Mr. Wolf. I'm glad they I don't. Even, I'm, I'm glad Mr. Wolf doesn't even know who you are. You get me. <laughs> What what is she? There, there's someone that said that she's a part of the Wolf Pack or something like yes, that. Yes, this is the same lady I'm talking okay. about. They have made the Wolf Pack, and Mister <laughs> Mister Mister oh, Wahala okay. has has a, has a hand logo for it. I the think wolf I might pack, I might man. take a picture actually and, and post it on social That's media. That's the Wolf Pack. Why don't you remember in, in NWO? The no, Wolf Pack. I, I didn't oh yeah, 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 man. Yeah. The Wolf Pack, man. It was wrestling, uh, Nash, back, back and, in the day. Nash, man. The Wolf Pack with with Hogan and all them, man. That's the Wolf Pack side, bro. So that's that's about. the thing, then. Hold yes. On. Let me take a picture of this. Yeah, yeah man. Know all about the Wolf Pack. All right. Well, well, do your Wolf Pack sign uh, whilst whilst you do your um, segue. You can't do two you can't things. Do things. <laughs> oh, 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 I could do. Oh, I could do. <laughs> but I, went, I, went, I wanted to smile in the picture, so there's no. Point. I can't smile and talk at the same time. Exactly, so no. isn't it? That's multitasking, so, bro. <laughs> like a Chinese. Uh, so, <laughs> racism. <laughs> <laughs> Just casual Saturday afternoon racism. All right, so we were talking about fraud, babe, but I said let's wait for man like simple because simple understands the fraud. Oh yeah. Yeah. So wow, is that a shot? No. You it, still said he understands the fraud. Yeah, the fraud. Listen, you want to take it that way. You're behaving like a woman. I'm just asking questions. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, come on. Anyway, fraud, fraud bay. bay. Mm. So, simple. Let's get into fraud bay because these men, I don't know. Not, they, they, I don't think they know the whole story. Oh, man. Fraud bay is very deep, man. That is, that's, I, I, I'll be honest with you. It's probably one of the most exciting threads I've seen in a while. <laughs> in a while it took it took so many different twists and turns it did it did it did it did I was thinking what's this this is Game of Thrones rebirthed because everyone was getting one but yeah, it was good man uh, lay it out though lay uh, it out explain it to me one of you people right. that was there chit chattering about this thing right, yeah, so I'll, he... I'll, I'll say it and you you come, you come in if there's bits of bobs I'm getting wrong because okay. I can't, I can't right. remember too well Stars and Jada yeah, right. you know, like back that. to back so um, this guy met a girl so, sorry the girl came on the timeline and said I need to talk about this guy Apparently, this guy's on the timeline quite often for other things that girls have been bringing up about him as well. I think he's the guy that told some girl, don't bring your purse, and then didn't have the money for it. I'm, yep. He's, he's the same guy. He's the same guy. So he went on a date with one girl, said, don't bring your purse. I've got it. I've got this date. And then when they when they, when they they went to the place that he thought they were going, they could, they couldn't get a table. Yeah. So they went somewhere else, and then he was like, ooh, I can't really pay for it in the cash, and then end up paying for it in the voucher. So that was one of the things that they flamed him for then. Okay. So he was that was on the timeline last week already. So then the next girl was like, I cannot keep this to myself. I got this guy anymore. He's out here, you know, living his life, living his good life. So he said he was not happy about it. So basically she said, look, I met this guy. Um, we went out on a few dates. She then posted a video of her, him, some next girl that he said was his best friend or a, well, was his a best friend. Yeah. yeah. And an next man, they were all out partying, enjoying themselves, smiling at the camera, blah, 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 blah. So then at some point, I think, she must have, he must have asked her, no, he must have not had money for something, didn't he? Yeah, the food. Food or whatever. And then she must have paid with her card. Now, what it was is he pretended that he's lo- he left his wallet. Because mm. he couldn't find, lost his wallet, sorry. Not yeah, left. yeah, yeah. So he couldn't find his wallet and he had no cash on him and he had his ID card and his bank card and everything in there. Mm. So he made, uh, made, made a mini drama, like, you know, he feels really, um, he feels really embarrassed. embarrassed I mean, embarrassed. He feels embarrassed, he feels bad and, you know, he doesn't. He's sorry that he's ruined the night and da 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 da. da. And mm. obviously, the way he, he he sweet boyed it, sweet one. It, the girl said, "Oh, you know, I'll pay for it, whatever." And, and she must have done the honourable thing, which was to not emasculate him. So I think she gave him her card for him to do the payment. Oh, oh wow! Yeah. I don't. I, can, can I? Can I just de- the cash. detail very quickly there? Then, or not detail, but just touch on that point. I don't see that as an emasculation. If if you can't pay and a woman's paying, then let her pay in it. For women, it's not. If a man is that, what's what's the word? Pay insecure. No, insecure, <laughs> insecure in himself insecure. that he can't let the woman pay. Then, then that's what I'm saying. That's that's not. So you you don't let women pay. No, I don't let the woman pay. But if if she's paying, then she's paying. Like, do I have to take her car to pay? That's that's bitch moves. <laughs> I hear that. But, but I'm not lying to you, but I don't like it when we get to Tesco and my missus is doing the paying the food in front of me. Yeah, but you're... And they're looking at me like, like oh, you can't even pay the food. I'm like, I can't pay for the damn food. Yeah. Yeah, I have to argue for... This is the thing, though. I'm confident in myself knowing I can pay. You're paying. You just you just happen to be want, paying this time. I want the Tesco women to think of me <laughs> as a man. <laughs> you, should, you shouldn't be worrying what other people are thinking about you, man. As a man. Anyway, sorry, go on, go on, go on. So, yeah, so he must have paid. And then he went very cold 
with her afterwards. Yeah, okay. he stopped speaking. Like, ghosted on, on, her. Yeah, yeah, go- yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah he ghosted her. He ghosted her. That's the ghost. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right there. Spun right me on that mm-hmm. one too because right. you put it through there. Yeah, he right. ghosted, right. ghosted her. He old people. <laughs> yeah, he ghosted. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, after three weeks, there's our example of ghosting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so yeah, so yeah, she got hit. Back <laughs> she got yeah, hit with the ghost with the ghost lines, and so she's like trying to find out what's going on, and he blocked her and all of the SMs. So whatever mediums they were talking on, he blocked her. That he, yeah, he hit her hard. So then she was like, pride is hurt a little bit. Like, what could have possibly gone wrong? Didn't think anything of it. Still kind of a little bit hung up. So she was like, you know, let me just stalk my man's pages a couple of times and see what I go on for what I go on. Oh, I go on. So then <laughs> she got some funny transactions coming in her bank statements. Mm-hmm. She's looking at them like, I don't understand this. What's all this about? Money flying out. Money's flying out. <laughs> like... Got you sound s- like puffy. Boy. I'm the, I'm the ablips, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Got the size, the sky subscription just coming out. Take like, that, take that, take that. <laughs> 200, <laughs> For two, real. <laughs> two, two, uh, hold on. Let me just acknowledge that the, the sky subscription was two hundred and sixty pounds. I don't know. I think oh, it must wow. have been on Sky Q or something. Yeah, I think it was watching Television X on a daily basis. Yeah, it must me. have been because that think there's no reason for it to be that much. At all. So then, yeah. So there's two hundred and one pound for that. Then there was um, gifts, flowers um, sent to somewhere. Mm-hmm. Then there was. Um, uh, likes forever likes oh, yeah for, you paid for likes yeah, and followers yeah, likes. Yeah. <laughs> and followers on Twitter I actually and watched Instagram. that video of the yeah. girls she's Nigerian isn't it I don't no, know no no I don't think she's Nigerian I yeah, have not that name no no, no the girl who's, who is involved in it is South African yeah. okay you can pay for likes and, and mm. what on and what on Twitter they've got services now you just go and pay for, and you it, pay for likes you paid 40, 38 pounds something for likes for likes Likes, retweets, and whatever. Make you look like you've got activity on your page, innit? Make okay. you look like you've got followers. Mm. More okay. like that. Okay. All right. So Fair you enough. paid for all that. And then this is the point where he knew that he fucked up, right? She then got. At this point. At this point, yeah, he knew he fucked, fucked up. up. She got a um, statement um, in her bank saying that she booked an EasyJet flight to, taking the to France. Fucking to Paris. Piece, to Paris, yeah. And then, furthermore, got a. Hotel booking at the Louvre, wherever it was. Yeah, I can't remember where he got that, but oh, in nice, nice place. If you're pillaging somebody else's card, and why are you only doing EasyJet? He is mm. moving mad. Well, <laughs> well maybe he's smart enough to, to even know. Don't Ruff, even, don't even, Ruff. don't even Ruff. go for. Oh PA. wait, here comes the here comes that play. So anyway, when she's seeing all this stuff now, she's like, "No, nah, this has got to stop." Yeah. She then goes and pre's my man's social networks. Pre it, and he's and in the places where no, she's comparing. Yeah, the social network dates to the dates of the transactions, mm. and she's noticing. Okay, so the flowers that my man bought ended up on his girlfriend's page. Yeah, yeah. Same flowers. Who's the girlfriend? Who's the girlfriend? So then she went, dun, dun. went through and got got the girlfriend's information. Talk that one. Talk the, that girlfriend, one. the girlfriend's the best friend. Oh, living my best life. This sounds like some Jerry Springer shit. Bro, for real. It some is, some it Jeremy Carl Brown. Thing is moving. Some Maury business. I'm, I'm happy I stopped reading it, but carry on. So I know then, you because you're that dude. This happened every daily, boy. Give you that so uh, Apparently, this dude wasn't Nigerian. No, he isn't. He's, he's Ghanaian. A, he's from Ghana. He's and a Ghanaian. Half yeah. Ghanaian. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> half Ghanaian. Half laughing? Ghanaian. No, half no. Jamaican. Apparently. Oh wow. Yes. Because, because you're laughing like that because you were almost thinking that he's one of us. No, 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 no. People thought it was Nigerian. I, everybody must I, I did not read uh, the actual uh, thread itself. Like I said, I read the first couple, and I, I, I was like, okay, whatever. Anyways, but the Fred Bay hashtag that came along, because we people said, look, you guys need to discuss it. I said, okay. So I clicked on the hashtag, looking to see if I could find the thread again, if I could read it. And I couldn't find the thread. All I found was people talking about the situation. And one of them was, praise God, we can rest today easy, knowing that this man is not, a not Nigerian. Nigerian. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, That's from what I'm there, saying. I closed it. I was happy with that, and I left it alone. Because <laughs> we have such a bad reputation this is what happened. Like, here, That man. same day, the same day, not every day pod must have put a picture of um, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Or whatever his name oh, is. Oh yeah, and, and he's, a, da- he's dating a Nigerian. Oh, did, yeah. did he post that on the social media? As That's well? an old yeah, picture. Yeah, because yeah, he sent it to me to my phone as well. See, I thought is it wavy? Yeah, yeah. Because whoever posted it, they posted it under the, under not, and I said this, and I actually wrote underneath this feels like a personal attack on me, and, <laughs> and, it was like, and they were like, nah, it's not a personal attack on you. And then um, basically. I must have, they must have said, well, as Nigerians, how do you feel about this? Oh, by the way, Nigerian Twitter came for them, by the way. That's the, probably the biggest tweet they've ever had. Oh, is it? It's like thousands of people I'm, are retweeting told, it now. I've been off Twitter this week. It's thousands of people have been retweeting that. And I said, I said, you went for Nigerians. That's why they came for you. So just, just just to recap, because you didn't, sorry, I, didn't, I don't think I let you finish. They posted a picture of... Um, uh, Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Jenner. Caitlyn Bruce he, Jenner. Caitlyn Bruce Jenner and his, uh, his, his her um, Nigerian, boyfriend, Nigerian, Nigerian boyfriend. boyfriend. So then I must have put underneath it, 
Boy, it doesn't matter what Nigerians do this week. As long as Fraud Bay is out there, we're safe. I even mean, I put that there. I didn't even see that one. I put that there. And it's true. Nigerians could do anything. We could go shoot somebody tomorrow. In fact, I think they did. wasn't shooting in Nigeria that the people were protesting the other day. Nobody cares because Fraud Bay did what he's did. <laughs> the guy there is I having this week. Have you seen this freestyle? Yes. He's taking the piss. That's what people are saying. He's taking the piss. Anyway, c- continue because there's still more. There's still, still more. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. Well, come on. Let's 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 speed it up. So where do I get to? It's- the, the, uh, she, she's she's matching them up and then she sees oh, that the to, girlfriend's to, a girlfriend. So so then yeah, so she sees on the on the girlfriend's page that the flowers are coming through and whatever. Boom boom boom. Okay, so it's looking nasty now, yeah. So then, as if that wasn't bad enough, now the Easy Jet booking has the um, flight reference number in it. So mm. one of her brethren's now is a real detective. It's like, oh yeah, why don't we just check in um, onto the online thing we've got the booking reference or whatever it's obviously come from your card we know all the details we can check the, the itinerary now this is where my man real fucked up right he bought all of this shit a month in advance that's how comfortable he was mm. with the decisions he was mm. making he thought you know what flagrantly I could do this a month in advance so they look now they see the date that he's flying they find out the girlfriend's name for who, who he's her bridging going with bro but this thing is mad so then they've They've got all of that information. So they know what day's departures is and everything, isn't it? They got onto the police, told them all the information. The police is impressed with, with the investigation. They're going to like, this investigation. Yeah, yeah. Don't mess with black chicks, I'm bro. telling you. I'm telling now you. I'm if they got, the if they got the, out your car. And if they got the right bridges, they do, they'll do well, boy. Them lot mcsi this guy properly. It was mad. The monocle came out. Trust me. Mm. So that Sherlock would have been proud. So then the police is like, yeah, yeah, we're feeling this. So they must have gone and... Went to go and apprehend him. It's not, it's not just the police, the girls the as well. The them as well went, went to, there. to the airport. Yeah. Oh, with the police? Yeah. 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 They, they were there t- taking pictures. They were there taking pictures. Oh, is this on the net as well? Yes. <laughs> I'm telling you, this is a legendary Fred. Wow. Okay. The Fred right. is mad. All right. Sorry. I'll take it back. So after she had um, already found the evidences and, and, you know, got onto him and said to him, basically, I know what you're doing or whatever. Oh, he, no. he carried. Yes, he did say evidences. Evidences, <laughs> yeah. And she, she, he carried on talking her, innit? Put one Instagram post up saying, oh, yeah, you thought you caught me out, blah, 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 blah. He, was, he didn't realise how deep this went, innit? Yeah. So she was saying that before that point had come, she wouldn't, she probably would have just backed out and not bothered to done anything. She just knows everything, get her money back. But when he started talking her online, mm-hmm. that's when she said, no, I'm not having it. So that's where. No, no, hold on. It wasn't just a taunt. The brethren underneath was like, yeah. So one brethren must have come to support the, the thing. And she said, when she saw the brethren, that was it. That was it. Because you knew that the, you know, the brethren supported fraud way. Yeah. Yes. So she knew that they, they, you, know, you must have gone out, not, not only did the fraud her, but he went to go and tell the man them as well. And that was too much embarrassment for You her. know, it's a good thing because it's been a long time since we had a something bay, a hashtag bay. Yeah. Yeah. For so real. It was, it, was, it was about time. It was about, it was about time. So anyway. She then, that's when she done the whole police thing or whatever, where I've caught my man in departures, my G. Mm-hmm. So my G must have seen now wow. something was a bit off. Like he was like, you know, I feel it in the air. So he went and changed his flight. He went to go and change the flight departure time on the day. He had to take the later flight. He's not, he's not a dummy though. Mm. Ho- hoping that they wouldn't catch him. Obviously. He still wanted to go. So yeah, he's dummy. Yeah, he yeah, yeah, okay, 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 okay. Obviously, because it's on her details, she's getting alerts for when the thing mm, changes. Okay. So then when the thing changes, like, oh, you changed the thing, yeah? Tell the police that they changed the thing. Caught them in departures, my What did they do with him then? He's, um... He must have been arrested. Yeah, yeah but arrested. I think he got like a suspended sentence. Re- yeah, was it cost- is it custodial? Is that the right word? I don't know, but he's not going to prison. He's not going to prison, but he has to pay back this. He's got to pay all heap of money and he's got, um, got uh, commu- community service yeah. as well. And then I heard that he's, he may be getting fired from his job. Oh, that's, oh, the, that's, oh. that's the next doublet now. What? I don't know who did that. A who? couple of them. It was a couple of them. A couple of them tweeted his workplace. Yep. Wow. Oh, yeah, I think I saw that yeah, response a couple of them in the group. In fact, Gavin one of them was one of them as well. Yeah. Tweeted his workplace and said, how can you let this man work at your workplace knowing that he's done this? He's just the type of people that you employ. And then the workplace Responded. replied to him. We take this kind uh, of thing them. seriously. Yeah, we take this kind of thing seriously. We'll go into the investigation, boom, boom, boom. And then as if that wasn't enough, I think it was a couple of hours later, it was in the Metro. <laughs> oh, wow. I, he's I, done out here. I, I, said, I said Dominic Soler can live his life now. No, never. he can never, never. live his life. <laughs> And I'll, I'll tell you why. Because do you know this one's name? Who? This, yes, Bay. his name is Michael uh, Feisenbeld. Yeah, he was like a mad name. He like the man from um that plays um what's his face? Uh um Magneto. Yeah, Michael Fassenbender or whatever. Yeah. Fassenbender or whatever. Yeah. It was wow. Feisenfeld or something like that. It was mad, mad and he's name. and he's from Ghana. And he's from Ghana. Ghana, and, Jamaica. And here's the thing that smashes mad. it. Not only do they have his government, they also have two aliases. I think one was Michael Modern, which is the uh, the, Twitter the, the Twitter one, and there was another. 
There was another Michael something. I can't remember what the other one. Wow. Was, but so they, everything is out there. Bro, Listen, when to, I'm he's, telling you now, if I die, don't worry about the police. Just ask Twitter who killed me because they'll find out. <laughs> they can't do who killed Mr. Burns in these day and age. In Twitter, they would me. find out before the people even put it on these the TV. These women were moving with precision, bro. Wow. When Twitter want you, they will find everything about and you. And this wasn't even a Twitter thing, Bob. This was just her and her friends. No, I, no, I think Twitter was the one that started finding his job and blah, blah, blah. When, they, when, when Twitter is used for evil, it's bad, man. It's bad. <laughs> <laughs> okay, do you think that's evil? The job thing? Did, no. Did he deserve it? Because that's, that's what was asked in the group. Yeah. All right, after all that situation, um, obviously people got a hold of what happened. They went on, some people said, how can you be so stupid to do all this stuff and still be up there on, um, what's that? Because I don't even use this. this that, LinkedIn. Like, on LinkedIn. How you be stupid to, to, to use LinkedIn and not either close your account or delete mm. it yeah because we'll find you in it because it's happened it's happened before and now it, clearly this seems to be like the new route yeah. so oh, keep in mind people for those of you that use LinkedIn for those of you that count yourself as professionals in brackets yeah if you are going to go out there and put your business out there or do some nonsense know that the new move is to go to your LinkedIn and to contact your um, employer. employer just keep that in mind because that's the new move and they're, they're going for your pockets and, uh, some of these youths don't even know what LinkedIn is, bro. Well, some of them do. <laughs> so anyway, in this case, he does. So do you think that's a that's a worthy move? Is is that like checkmate business, or is that you've gone too far? Now that you've told me all the stuff he did, because I was <laughs> I'm an iron about it before, but now I've heard all the stuff he did. I think yeah, that's 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 cool. cool. Just just like we spoke last. <clears throat> oh, I'm doing a simple Simon there, frog in the throat. Try to rub me out. Go he on. always a phlegm, but it's all good. Um, just <laughs> like we spoke last week about karma and revenge, innit? So I think that bruv, karma in it. Karma's come right back at him. And if he does lose his job, go get that. Get that juice, bruv. <laughs> just just think of it as chicken. Um yeah, if 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 um his job are going to fire him or reprimand him or put him on a disciplinary, bruv, what can you do, mate? You've been arrested by the police and the police have taken the matter seriously and it could um put his uh job in the limelight for the wrong reasons. Yeah, well, but what I'm saying, sorry, no. what I'm saying though, is it, do you think the action of involving the workplace, because I, I, I didn't know, I don't know if it's above the line or not, or below I, the I, line. I personally wouldn't do it, but there are vultures out there, innit? I would, I would say the, the woman that got hurt, the woman that got swindled, it's cool for her to do it. Mm. For outsiders to do it, you think, it's not your business. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, just uh, like you uh, say about Twitter, uh, isn't it? Along those kind of lines, along those kind of lines. I'm not saying you shouldn't do it, but like, mm, but if you if somebody went at you and you did that to them, that's just payback. Because as, as much as we know that we believe it's true, you don't even know this woman might have made up a whole heap of lies. I saw something on Twitter today of some woman beating herself with a hammer so she could go and tell people that she's she's somebody that hurt her. Yeah, but with this guy, I'm unfortunately. There he's, are he's there's got res- evidence. He's it? got priors. Yeah, he's got priors. So, so many what? people come out that woodwork. It's, not, it's not you, is it? So no. So I, what, 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 I hear that it's like the crying wolf on the Me Too thing or whatever. Mm. But I don't know, man. Apparently, the woman said that if they, if they get one more person that can say that he's done a crime, then they can put him inside. So she's she's campaigning for. Oh, in fact, you posted that, innit? That she's I saw campaigning, that. I saw she's campaigning that. To, yeah. get, to get him. Yeah, it seemed it seemed that you know what they put the battery in her back. So I think she put the tweet out there for. For whatever reason, maybe to get it off her chest and to get some. Yeah, but some, she some. waited until all of this stuff had. But that's happened. that's the point. I think she that she. she I don't think she was going out there. I don't know. I don't think that she was expecting this kind of um, this heat to go with it. So I think once the heat came, I, 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 them, I, yeah, okay, I, yeah. Because I'm not trying to say it in a bad way, but it, it pumped her up. Maybe she had kind of like mm. got it off her chest and it's like, all right, the situation's done. Please got him. I'm gonna get my money back at some point. Let me just put it out there, almost like a joke thing. But he was teasing it. He's, yeah, he made it worse because when he started coming out and doing the music and he's and he's you know trying to make joke and things. Well, he did a music video. Bro, he's in the studio. He's in the studio doing a freestyle. Oh wow! So Talking he's, about so my yeah, he's to... different too. Yo, yeah, oh, is that him? No. No, no, but because that's the big thing out there, he was chatting that as well while he okay. was there. Okay. Because he was trying to say that he can do the fraud, didn't it? My fraud is different to I, your I fraud. Mean, I don't know what that yay business is, man. You, it was someone that to me in. But the guy, the guy can make money from it. The um, My man that was doing a thing on New Year's Eve. What's his name again? Celeste. Celeste should be selling it. Yeah, but, tongues. and that's the thing is that he in sex he, shops. He, he should be, could should have, be doing sex, sex work. He yeah. could have capitalized on that, and he didn't. So if my man is but smart enough, he could it look like he's you know on, what, on a move. You know, what I'd say if that's me, I'm gonna put myself out there. Yeah, you can call me what you want. If that was me, and I, I'll be like, and yeah, I would have been like, and, and? Well. she was frowsy, and 
Uh, you did it in the street. And I'm slack for life. I mean it. I said it. I, I'm not even using my words properly, but that's it. Oh, so yeah, but he, there was times he was on the train. Guy. And I remember it was one time, bro, he was on the tube. He was on late. He was on the central line at Leighton, bro. Yeah, that's I how deep it was. And, and Matt was just filming him like, look, look, they're dominating. <laughs> <laughs> and then he chased him off the chain. Yeah, Give a little like, background oh, story for my man. There's some no, man, let him remember. lie. Let him lie. Let him go, nah, it's let over, him, brother. Let him go. He, he, he can't let, let he him can't go, man. Down. It's coming no, up. Okay, it's coming up to okay, that day, you know. Okay, just in case, because he's more as coming up. He's a London thing and a UK thing. So exactly for our overseas listeners, there was a guy. Well, his name I don't want to mention. You've done it about five but, times. Yeah, but I don't want to associate his name because I want the man to be able to sleep at night. Because that's what his children are going to know him for. He goes up older, you know. <laughs> deep, you know. Yeah, it's deep. It is Father, deep. You, got, you, got, you got Jesus, Father Christmas, and Dominic Sinclair. All Around that about the same. Wicked! That's wicked! The Holy Trinity. <laughs> 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 You did oh, man. You killed it. Yeah. <laughs> you killed it. Jesus, Father Christmas, <laughs> and Sinclair. <laughs> what's his name? Sinclair. Sinclair. Sinclair or whatever it is. It's Sinclair, isn't it? You know, you do realise that we're going to have to do a picture of the three of them. Oh, man. sweet I ain't going to let the man live. Yeah, man. Wow, that was we'll, fire, bro. We'll do a little collage. Immaculate of, conception. <laughs> of the three of them. <laughs> oral contraception. <laughs> it happens, Jeez. man. Once every, so so once continue every week. and tell the story yeah, to the old Just man. make it quick, make it quick. So anyway, so then it was, he worked for a New Year's party, which I think is quite valid. He met a girl who people was guiding that sort of... Look, actually, no. the girl... This is one time where the girl actually got away with it yeah. more than the man did. One time ever. Salute her. Um, I think they worked together. Yeah, they did. They worked together in Love Brooks. That's what I, I don't, why do I know this? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because because the, because everybody the, the social media came and from it them. was Love Brooks Christmas party, and you know she was feeling nice. He was feeling nice. They got a bit drunk. You know he thought, you know what, I like you. She likes him. Then they ended up on the stairs in somewhere in central London. I think it, it looked was like EC near one yeah, of them uh, places, revolutions. Yeah, yeah, yeah one of them places something. there. They ended up on the stairs and she outside, was outside club. basically, and she was straddling his face. And um, he was some, her out, some yeah. young boys was filming it. She sat on his face. Some young boys were filming it, and um, you basically the film goes of her sitting on the man's face. And suddenly, it went viral. she she can I finish my story? And then suddenly, no. he got up from she got up from the from shadowing his face, and then you could see his face come up and merge. And the thing that made it worse was that he was he was like going with his mouth and, and, then, that, he his, and, right, and then he wiped his mouth and they were like this man is eating at a burger a third burger in the vix so there's people talking in the background this guy and he even fine detail because it was hilarious and then basically that video went out and it went viral and this was before twitter properly was popping off if twitter was popping off that would have gone even worse this was Facebook this, times. This is, this is the first kind of viral thing yeah. that I can remember you know? yeah this is Facebook times I don't, people... I don't think it would have been worse you know <sighs> I think it, 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 I'm it, talking it, about the reach it cannot be now. worse then nah, because now you are so flooded with information this full bay is going to be old news next week yeah, that's and true. Uh, although that's we might true. remember it for a little while that's you know true. but back then because nah, dominant, boy. Uh, um, you don't really see those viral, th- that's, that's viral, yeah viral things weren't the, 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 the thing back the then the numbness of the mind now was, we're, we're seeing those things we, all the yeah, time we now we would have gone viral, viral but, many times if it, if it was a big thing like that what's so mad about it now is the fact that they found his name they got his government name mm. and they had everything just finished that's it mad man, man. it's uh, mad I can't remember how we got boy, here but hey they must just put fireworks or put all his name in the sky oh yeah so it happened at a new year's party or a Christmas party one of them so anyways every year the joke is that would like light up a candle for for um, Dominic, yeah, yeah and, and and a man there, minute. But um, but the reason why we got there from that is because we were talking about the the um the scam, yeah. And I think you you were saying that this guy's won't be notorious. Should be making money from it. He's gonna end up the making money how from it. My man didn't. Yeah, yeah. So you said that he didn't yeah. capitalize. He on seems it. like he's got something to him where he, he like I said, the hustle, isn't it? Like yeah, Dominic or whatever his name is. He he didn't like embrace it. Nah. This dude is He's like Fully coming with the gospel He's, he's being cheeky with it It's making like, He was cheeky with his whole move man the Yeah, the, yeah it's cheeky, cheeky From Everything the beginning to cheeky. end I don't know I blame the Ghanaian in him I'm, nah. I'm <laughs> saying Don't mess with South African women God dear Nah I think that In the end This whole situation If he if My thing is this Should the internet be It's like You're rewarding him for it 
because the internet is kind of I know they're getting they they you know they're still the first one running to his page to retweet his jokes to retweet his his videos to do this to do that yeah, but they they're fueling him the same way that they the same way they they, they hate Kate Hopkins the same way they hate um he's gonna be like Kate Hopkins and um what's his face and um uh what's the guy that supports Arsenal. Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan. He's just, they're gonna turn him into the pantomime. He's gonna be the pantomime yeah, villain. Anti-hero. But with if, what we we love that though, because even what was the other guy? The guy that was um his mugshot made him into a model. Mm. There's a woman whose mugshot you know made what? her into oh, a model. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, the, yeah. the dude. Yeah. I, I was in the airport. You know, and you got to duty free, and you got the the perfume things. Yeah, and, and you saw and him the, there? Yeah, it was on the, the the screen. So they had the perfume, and he was jumping up. And the, you know what the advert was? Because it's for perfume. And what's he doing? He's, he was uh, robbing a woman. Oh my god! Yeah, but you you do know that he's, he's, <laughs> he's like, oh you, do know, you do know that he's dumped his wife and and kids, and he's now with Philip Green's daughter. Yeah, yeah, what, billionaire he's, Philip Green's daughter. Yeah. No, they're, they're engaged. That's the show. He, he engaged a billionaire, bad boy, or a billionaire heiress. No, but no, but yeah, we, no, I didn't know. No, had, I didn't know he had a wife and daughter. We, yeah, yeah. I didn't know about it either. But yeah, we, we, daughter, we, yeah, we as the audience propelled him to where he got to. Yeah, but that's, that's what's wrong that's with a mugshot, though. Yeah, that's but, what's wrong uh, with but again, I've seen that people say, that, I've seen the same people say the thing about this guy. Ah, he's done this, he's done this, but he's buff, though. I guess I heard that. But what I'm saying to you, you're saying it's off a mugshot, which means he's already committed the crime. <laughs> <laughs> you understand? Yeah. I will, I will bigging him up off of the basis that he's already committed the crime. So this yeah. guy, like you said, if 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 he, I'm I'm sad that I'm that, able to say this, but mm. if he maneuvers himself correctly, like you said, he could he could he could. So he there's get a change there's of. money in criminality. There's well, money in. Well, every, we were everything. speaking about the whole thing with uh, uh, David Dean, innit? So certain criminals can make money if they're given the right opportunity. That was the situation it? I said. Why right? you're rewarding mm. the criminals? Yeah. So he's, for me, there's money in criminality, and there's money in being notorious in any way, shape, or form. Doesn't matter why you're notorious, you can make money from. It's that. mad because we've grown up being told that crime doesn't pay. Well, it's paying right Blatantly now. Oh, oh, right. And keep your mouth closed and you know don't put yourself out there that's mm. that's gone now as well yeah, okay well. Look, going off that then let's talk about these virals because these things have been going viral recently obviously you've had that um shaku on the beat as well girl and you've had this um, shaku on the who shaku on the beat you don't know that one a shaku on the beat as well i never saw the original for that hey. i don't know <laughs> you don't know anyway there's a girl i think she used to be jay house's girlfriend she did a video where she was singing everybody was gunning the girl because the singing was bad one guy made a video um Basically gunning her, and I think that was the reason why she he she went viral because she was he went on Instagram live or she went on Instagram live and they were chatting to each other and he was like she's like why are you gunning me because I think she's on move and <laughs> basically they'll have a discussion about it and I think that's what pushed it to prepare it to go absolutely viral. Right. So then she's now got a vi- she made a video video and she's released that music video for the song that she's done. It's over the ZZ beat, which is the Kodak Black beat. Um, then there was that I am my yay is different to your yay. He's God. even doing the hand movements, okay, the, bruv. He convinced me when he said that. I believed his year was different. But okay, 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 okay. okay. I believe his year I was different. I don't get this thing. It's, like, it's, 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 I'm with you. Mr. That's me. Dipping in sauce and then dipping sauce, sauce. See, right. this this girl that because I haven't seen the original video, but the 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 um the Ashaku on the beat. The, apparently, she was a poor singer, and because of a, a conversation she had with somebody else, it got viral. Okay, mm-hmm. I she Nigerian. Yeah. I can't. I don't is that, know. That's your default question, isn't it? No, nah, but Shaku is I, I, is, I, I, is a dance, isn't it? Yeah, but no, but she says Shaku's right. Shaku on the beat as well. Shaku <laughs> on the beat. You have to add the A. But this Love my yay is different than your yay thing. Mm. My yeah. yay is different you to your yay because I, I was late to it, but mm. I saw the the small clip. I don't know if did they actually have the long oh, version. Yeah, uh, about a minute and a bit. Okay, because from what I hear, he's got a decent voice. Yeah, he's right? good. Yeah, all right. So he's a decent singer. He's just saying a line which I don't get, what it, but you can get kind of get what it means. You don't have to know what yeah is, but mm. like my swag is different than your swag, and yeah, my yeah. levels are different. Than, I'm just assuming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what is, what is it about this small clip that is that, okay? That, Let me explain. What, to what? Okay, go Let on me explain, explain to you. It, One, the song yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, burn up boy, yeah. Is the biggest like one of the biggest anthems for Nigerians right now. That's big anthem, yes. right? Yes, okay. massive anthem. So it's based on that. Yeah, damn. Because the man just came out, it's it's like okay, if a man starts a song and was like, you know, hi, my name is Fingy, blah blah blah, and he's like, I'm gonna sing my song and blah blah. He came and then was like, and they came and I sang the song. Yeah, you'd be like, okay, he's just started the song. The man said, yeah, 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 my yeah, yeah. it's like he just came in and he was like. <laughs> I was possessed. But I was like, yes, your yay is different, bruv. And it's like, I, I agreed with the fact that his yay was different. I was convinced that whatever the yay was, he had it more than I did. Because he, you said it and he meant it. Then he came in and the song was actually all right. 
Because you already know the beat as well. You're happy with the beat. And some of the bars he was spitting was all right. He said, what did, the, what, was he, what did he say? What did he say? She said that. What did he say about the girl? Something about she don't, she don't trust me. And he said, I don't want you to love me. I mean, I don't want you to trust me. Just love me. And I said, is it? Yes, yes. I don't care about you trusting me. Just yeah, love me. Different so to your, yeah. I think a lot of people, because of the way that he came in the song, he was basically shouting in the song. And it just, it just was like... The internet is a beautiful thing because yeah. they can pick something and make it special. And then Radio One Extra bo- picked up both these people and did like and a put bat- them on the radio. Yeah, like, did the yeah. battle of the thing. But I'm saying now, is it got to a point now? Because there'll be other artists that I, the other one, Yeah Man, is actually a serious artist, by the way. I think he's got songs as well. Oh, he's got loads of songs. Yeah, yeah. but okay. the, but there's other artists out there that's going out of their way to do serious things. You know, tr- trying to get to the next level, and people are not even paying attention to them. But if you can go that and get that little viral clip now, suddenly is the viral clip. The thing that people should be looking for. If we were breakout artists now, if we were rappers now, and we decided we wanted to get into music, what's more important? Getting um, your things on YouTube, SoundCloud, or whatever, and you know, getting that music out there, or going to an A and R, or is it more? Um, I should be trying to get that viral clip from Twitter. It depends what you want in it. I want to blow. I saw um, a tweet for the uh, the ZZ woman, the um, Shakira the Beat woman, and a man said, "I don't want to come across as a hater." But I've just spent X amount of money and time in the studio, sp- sp- spent months and, you know, tons of time and w- wanna making this album and nobody's going to hear it. And everyone is rocking this, this my, uh, you know, Shaka and the Beat girl. It's like, I don't want to sound like a hater, but, but I'm hating. That's, that's, I'm hating. that's the way of the industry, you, man. You artists that are there putting in your work to try and do what you're doing and your one viral clip is making your, your, your thing blow. But that's, that's, that's life these days. Yeah, yeah, but should we be looking for that? Are we Should we be looking for that viral clip? Is that why we were talking about last week with the 50 Cent trying to do his petty behaviour to try and get that, that, um, that buzz? Is that what these men should be looking Listen, for? even Will Smith is doing it now. Because Will yeah. Smith came up in, a, in an era where you kept yourself to yourself. Being uh, mysterious was what sold you. Because when they got to see mm-hmm. you in the film or when they got to hear your record, that's when they got to see your, and hear your story. And that's what they paid the money for. And he said that he's been silent. And then he realized society has changed around him. And that is why he, he put up his okay. Instagram. That mm-hmm. is why he's done his YouTube. And that's why he's now recording everything he does. He's like, this is, what, this is how it is now. But do you mm-hmm. think, I think... And I'm wrong. I know I'm wrong. And there's probably somebody else there that will show me that's a better. And yet he's still going to say it. I'm going to say it the same way. I think that the, the Cardi B effect is why it's gone to such a level now. Cardi B effect, which is... Because Cardi, Cardi was big on Twitter, if I'm right. Yeah. That's where she started. Before, yeah. Then she managed to finesse her way from Twitter onto Love and Hip Hop because there's no reason for her to be on Love and Hip Hop. I think it was Instagram she was on. Either one. One of the, those, those platforms. But I think, it's, I think it was Twitter though still. But she managed to finesse her way from whatever platform onto Love and Hip Hop because she's not a rapper at the time and she wasn't, she was a stripper. There was no reason, for, she wasn't even dating any rappers. Right? Mm-hmm. So she ended up on Love and Hip Hop. That's because people found her funny on Instagram and Twitter. She, then, she built up a massive following, following yeah. on social media. And then from there, she then went on I to, didn't to do, and she went on obviously to do the music thing. And now she's like not one of the, she's broke records. Mm-hmm. She, she is big. She, she's broke she, records. She's like she's, That's how deep it's become for her. All because of Twitter and, and Insta followers. So I'm thinking, is she now the benchmark? Is she now changed the way the industry looks at, or certain industries look at things now? Because... <clears throat> Yeah, as you say, big stars are now following so. following these got look. I think let me use a weird example. Like um back in the day you would meet a girl in the street, take her number, go out on a date and maybe marry her or whatever. Now there's so many different ways to meet women and to date them and to get a relationship and it's the same with the music industry there's now so many different ways to find yourself in you don't need to be talented you don't need to go via a record label you could be michael dapper and you could go viral and you could become a musician he is a comedian he's talented but, though he's talented. well yeah but the thing is is that you will well, find he's not, he's not talented rapper though. you you would find that a lot of these guys have a multitude maybe he is the man's not hot it's good that you have a multitude of different talents. So you'll find a, uh, uh, what's his name? Jamie Foxx is one. He's a comedian. He's a singer. He's an actor. There's, these people can do it all. If and you, if, and a, yeah. He's uh, too good. Uh, that's what I'm saying. So, <laughs> so, so these guys have got like a spider web of different talents. So Michael Dapper is a comedian and he could find himself into the music industry and then find himself on the big screen. A bit like, what's his name? The guy that, that I've been singing the song today, Living My Best Life, that guy. 
Little yeah. Duval. He's a comedian. Yeah, that's what I'm he, saying. But he made this song, and suddenly this song is the biggest song in America. Like, doing madness in America. Yeah, number one, yeah. Madness. I believe. The thing is, uh, what, uh, similar to what Mr. Wolf just said, I think back in the day you had your avenues, but you had your gatekeepers. So um, if you found your way into the gatekeeper, this is this is why you have your your Weinstein's and all and whatnot because you needed to get. They you need, were the gatekeepers. Yeah, you bro. need you needed to find your way into the, into the avenue. It's just like you said, there's more avenues now. So, so that's just that's, that's, that's just life. I mean, that that is just life. I I don't hear it. It, it is what it is. Um, as long as it's not my children that's selling their their their, their souls for or my my people's for for fame, then that's cool. I mean, by all means, put yourself out there, and by all means, if you have to act a little bit of a clown, then so be it. But you know, there's a certain things, there's certain levels. But this is what's so beautiful. I, 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 I think at the at the moment now, these people that are making it, some of them are not even clowning. Some of them mm. are just being themselves. There's a lot of clowns that was there going forward, though. There was some clowns before. I don't know now. I think some people are trying to be real. I don't know, man. It's just mad. Like, even look at this Brother Nature guy. I don't know who the Brother Nature guy is. You don't know Brother Nature? No, who's that? Brother Nature is a guy that I think he basically just just made nature cool. He he had a... (laughs) Basically. He has a pet deer and um, he would record videos himself with his deer. But he was a mixed race guy, I think. But and I think and I think was, he's like he's Lati- uh, Afro Latina, you know. Okay, so well, that's still mixed race, isn't it? But uh, okay, Af- Afro Latina, and I think the optics of a um, brown man being very eff- I was going to say feminine, very affectionate with a- an animal or there, and then he would do it with dogs and seals, and it, it was it just cool popularity because he was really positive as well very positive nature very very bubbly and he would just look, look at my deer and do this and look at this, look at this cat. Yeah. so that, so basically he got popping because oh look at this dude that's really nice he's got you know so they started calling him brother nature because he was in tune with nature and he was he was a brother so but then what happened was receipts I, I wasn't even going to talk about his receipts the receipts then, the, well the internet came for him because they found out that when he was 12 or 14 for about 14 or so he used to fuck animals no well, it, that was, <laughs> what that, that, it's happening what? out it's happening out there bro bro that's, that's what's happening what? out here now bro no it wasn't that okay, okay. brother nature didn't didn't yeah. rape the, the well, when you say brother nature well you never know what the guy's there he, he had, a, a, he had a lot of um, Nazi um, hello reindeer you got a big booty <laughs> <laughs> God damn man Rain that ass I would like to change the subject And move on to Nazis He was making tweets about um, Basically the, You know The Nazis got it right Gassing the, the, the Jews And I'm an, I'm an, I, I want to be a Nazi When I grow up And stuff like that I'm, I'm, It's not verbatim But yeah. along along those kind of lines looks like a monkey yeah, God and, damn 47 yeah, Cussing blacks Cussing women And um, yeah. but It was just all I'm, random I'm, nonsense I'm bigging up Nazis But basically Everyone Every time that Because I was on Twitter Them times I wasn't on Twitter but the way that people talk about Twitter in that certain certain era is like Twitter was wild and people just said what the hell they wanted and there was no filters, there was no nothing. And now all of these people that have become somebody that was around them times, are, they, the things are coming back for them basically. Because back in the day, you could write what you wanted and you you didn't realise that um, later on in life there'd be a, you know 700 million people logged in and could look at what you're writing. Back there's, in the day, nobody was there. There's some of that, but there's also some of the our social... Morality at that time hadn't caught up with mm. the ability mm. of the platform. Yes, so, so uh, we hadn't developed those sensitive no, ideas, would, and, would, there not, would, and there was nothing wrong with the things that I they were saying. I would say that it's it was more a case of he would never go on to stage in his school and say that. Of course, the stuff, but he would say it amongst his small circle of friends. Mm-hmm. Twitter was your small circle of friends. That's how you saw it. You didn't see it as you're standing up in front of your school. It got to the point where you realize now you cannot say nothing on Twitter without you realising unless you're a bit lost now that you are saying it to the world you're not saying it just to to your your people because even if you only have 20 followers everybody can still read your tweet that's true so so people just know that now they didn't know that then it it wasn't it wasn't common knowledge it wasn't it was and it just hadn't happened yet impressions yeah. it's like our children got to grow up in a completely different Trust way that me. we did man they got to have to have two two different people. Trust they, they got to have to have a social media life and a normal life and try and merge the two so they can live normally. I don't want them to have that. I want them to have one life. Yeah, but it's like they got, it's the world doesn't allow them to do that anymore. It's yeah, like but he, uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna allow them to do that. So, so outsiders may like what can they do? I don't know that, that your dad can't do. Just your mum and dad will tell you, encourage you, be be you in it. Do you do just, you? Just seems like he just it's just it's put a lot of pressure, man. A lot of pressure. There is a lot mm. of pressure. I've even asked some of the, my younger cousins in that 
like tried to find out what motivates them to do the stuff that they do. And most of it's just peer pressure. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> that man can't actually tell you, they can't tell you, the girls even, they can't tell you why it is they're doing the things that they're doing, but everybody else is doing it. It's the norm. And what's their relationship like with their uh, folks? The relationship with their folks is decent. But, sorry, well, maybe I should say, are their folks in tune with the current uh, uh, social media thing? I mean, me as a, I don't know, a senior out of you, man, I even find Twitter a bit confusing. Um, I don't know. Well, I would say their parents are probably not into it like that. I think maybe Facebook might be the furthest they'd probably go. I think it depends on how you are with your kids, innit? Uh-huh. And, and and if you have an understanding of the new world, just like maybe Will Smith or even yourself, Stavros, uh-huh. you get me? So when your kids are grown up to that point that you will be able to engage a little better and maybe peer pressure won't be such a big issue. It's like my son, sorry to uh, interject there, but my son, he's 14, he's going to be 15 next month. He hasn't got Facebook he ain't got Snapchat. I really believe that. I really, really had this discussion. <laughs> yeah. And I don't, know, son, I don't know if I believe you. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's your business, isn't it? He's my got son, a phone, isn't it? My son hasn't got any of those things. He's got a phone though, yeah? Yeah. What I would say is, here's a test. I'm sorry, young man. What you do is you pick up his phone and you go to the app store, which, whichever, whether it's Android or the, the thing, and you go to the app and you see if it was already downloaded. Because I have, it, it, I, it lets I, you know if it was downloaded. I'm on at his phone all the time. No, but if it, listen to what I'm saying. I can delete Twitter off my off my phone yeah. now and give it to you. You can go through it. There's, right, there's no right. app. Okay. But when you go to the App Store and you try and download I Twitter, I know what you're saying. It will say, yeah, I know what you're "Redownload." Saying. I know what you're saying, and I f- you you are right that we have had this c- discussion before. But I'm telling you, absolutely, he hasn't got Facebook. He's never had it. Nobody needs Facebook. Though. Facebook well, is so old. He hasn't had Twitter. Yeah. He hasn't had Insta or Snapchat or Kick or whatever. He has us. I don't even know what Kik is. Well, that's what I'm saying. So he's saying, look, like, you know, the way how we communicate now, Dad, is via these means. We don't even communicate via WhatsApp anymore. You get me? So he's us. And I think it is not such a bad thing to have one or two of those things just so far as you can monitor them. You know, but he is not getting it for peer pressure. It's more for communication. But that is the peer pressure. For like, for example, me. I don't I, think so. I never well, wanted. Well, then that's a different I, type of peer pressure. I never wanted. He just to, wants to communicate with his brains. I never wanted to be on Facebook at all. Do you know how I got on Facebook? Remember, we were raving hard them times, yeah. And these men were putting <laughs> what's up on Facebook from the yeah, waves, yeah, yeah. and I weren't getting to see them. And it was like, oh, it's long for sending it to you, man. So they, that's how. Well, I, yeah, I, but that's not peer pressure. That is peer pressure. Uh, it is, but it's not. No, it's not. It's, it's not. A, it's not a direct peer pressure. Yeah, but it's peer pressure because everybody else is. Yeah, but dead. you have a choice. It They're is direct all... peer pressure. It's just not in the, the way you're thinking. But that is that, that's definite. That is standard pro- peer pressure. I am doing something because my peers have led me in that direction, not because of anything I actually want to do on my own two feet. There you mm-hmm. go. That's man. peer pressure. Uh, now, now he sleeps on Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, old man. Oh, Facebook is for old people, but I, yeah. I do not use Facebook. I know you don't. I think it's Facebook is for old mm. people. Even my missus said to me, "Yeah, never on Facebook." I said, "You're damn right. Don't need to be there." You're not that part of Facebook. I don't need to be there. Yeah, Facebook is. I don't know. I mean, there's. It's obviously got its core people in it. Old people, but but the, but the youngsters, they're not jumping on it. So, what is the company going to be like? In that's the next why they've got all of these. Years? Years. They're on Instagram. That's so why they got Instagram and all these secondary. Yeah. Mm. I, ain't, I ain't on Facebook. I'm on Instagram and WhatsApp. Exactly. Oh yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm on Facebook. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's basically it. But speaking of WhatsApp, so this distressing thing happened to me this week, innit? Okay. Damn. Take a breather, man. I had to take hold a breather, on, bro. It's on, deep, man. On. Hold That's on, man. man. Rubbing his chest. I'm rubbing my chest as <laughs> well, on, bro. Man. The pain is there. Oh, oh Hold my, on. All right. my chest. So my dad, yeah. My chest. My chest. You joker. <laughs> so my dad, yeah, wasn't, he's never been into any of this social media, none of this bullshit, yeah? He's got WhatsApp. Yeah. yeah. He recently got WhatsApp, yeah? <laughs> nah. This, <laughs> you're laughing. He recently got WhatsApp. So he's there using the WhatsApp. To my surprise, he ain't done the thing that I'd expected him to do, which would have been, oh, yeah, sh- how do you do this? How do you do that? How do you do this? How do you do that? Yeah? So I'm like, Okay, so how is he getting along with this thing? Apparently, he's getting along and he's using it all right. Cool. I think he sent me a couple of videos and I was like, mm, okay, so it started now. Mm-hmm. He hasn't sent me no chain letters or nothing like that. Sent me a couple of videos. The other day now, sins. The other day now, I must have, uh, he must have showed me something on his phone. And he's in a group chat with all the mans that he went to school with. And the depressing thing is, 
his group chat isn't very much different to ours. <laughs> <laughs> That's depressing, bro. Why, Why is, is that? it depressing? Because he's my dad, isn't it? I'm supposed to look forward to what I'm going to be like when I get older. He's showing me that there is no change. <laughs> Yes. Him and his brethren are showing we are going to be sending each other the same fucking memes that we're sending now. We'll be sending them. He showed me a picture the other day, yeah? I enjoy those memes. And the meme said, this is how racism started, yeah? They've got a picture of a black woman on the left-hand side who is curvaceous with a big body. And then they've got a white woman on the right-hand side. I think I've seen The one, one with the no body. Completely no body. He shows it to me. He goes, oh, this one made me laugh. And I looked at it. And part of me wanted to laugh because it's funny. And part of me wanted to cry because this is my future. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, well, you know well, no, but we're, we're going to be different to our, uh, well, to my parents, I think. Like my, my folks are old school. You get me? And uh, your folks are likewise, you know. How are you going to be different? I, f- I, I don't know. I think we're going to be like Simple Simon's dad. I think we're going to be, you know, that hip you know, know, elder statesman that is trying to be like the younger ones. I don't know why you're saying Ghana, like you're not there. You're sending already. the picture of but, the... But, but what I'm saying nah. to you, you say, you say like we're going to be that like hip, yeah? The fact that you said the word hip is also yeah. proven. That's, that's, that's what I'm saying. Is we're that not going to be here. We're going to think like that we're, you know, still... We're going to be the uncle in the club trying to get the young girls. It's wrong. <laughs> I'm not going to be the uncle. I will never be I'm that I'm going to be at home with my hand down my trousers with the remote control, bro. And I'm going to be the one. football. I'm going to be the uncle with, that's with got best popcorn, stew. With popcorn and cashew nut. Best stew that's you know? hanging down my, my vest. <laughs> this is as best stew as possible. Complaining about things that I don't. You know what I wanted to do the other day? You know what? I know I'm getting to that level and I know that there's something very wrong with me. Halloween is there, isn't it? Yeah. I, went, I was waiting for one of the kids to knock on my window so I could, or knock on my door so I could look at them through the window and tell them, <laughs> <laughs> get out. Get away from us. Get away from us. Oh, That's why I've got there, but I'm, I'm at that age where I'm just old. One old of the, for no reason. One of you these want years. to tell them to shoot you, though. <laughs> one, of, of here, you know one of these years on this uh, Halloween, fam, I'm going to throw a mala at them. Why not? Uh-huh. <laughs> the children, just throw a mala at the children. Flipping Why not? Boy. Trick or treat. <laughs> treat, treat. <laughs> next, time, next time they come to my house, I'm going to put one plantain and yam in their bag. And <laughs> it's sweet. <laughs> but but I live with their juice, so they'll probably take it. I'll be happy. Oh, Uncle, thank you. <laughs> we, we thank God for your life, you know. Yeah, don't okay. do this devil worship. We don't. We praise God, you know. One <laughs> one one thing that uh what's that devil worshiping? What what is devil worship? I don't know. It's, a, what it, it's, this a, it's a form of juju, isn't it? I'm not going into that story. So all right, fair enough. So, <laughs> stay there, stay there, stay there. It's before you came, simple. Yeah. Right. All right, and um, so Stavos we'll, doesn't believe that. Uh, oh, we were black, talk, oh, you, magic oh, 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 that bit you want to talk about? Oh yeah, quite, we said we we'll talk about that. Okay. Have we got enough time? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Stav said they don't believe in black magic. Okay. He believes there is no such thing as a juju. No, not oh. even a small one. Okay. You don't believe in the babalawo. So, so Oh the the babalawo is working. So um Mr. Wolf said he believes in it. Wolf pack and all that. Ooh. And um uh, Wallace said I believe that there's spirits and stuff, but I I don't know how they work. I don't know, I don't know. Mm. So what do you believe? Um I'm kind of the same in the sense that I'm I'm open enough to say that I don't know. So I don't believe in Nigerian juju. Why? Because that's the, fi- that's the finest form. But I don't believe in Nigerian juju because that's the high art of juju. I don't understand why they believe in it. What do you mean? Because Nigeria is one of the most religious countries in the world. That's why they believe in it. And yeah, but then if the the juju was supposed to have been defeated by the Christianity. No, too no. strong. The devil is always working in Christianity. No. That's the whole point of Christianity, isn't it? The devil's always working. The devil's always working. The devil's always working. You no. must work harder. No, no. The thing about Nigeria, West African countries, um, they say that Cameroon has got the highest form of black magic or juju in, in Africa, you know, and in Haiti and the Caribbean. It is supposed to be, you know, way back in the day, a practice that was... Um, um, part of the culture and not necessarily a bad one and that's why mm. they feel that we as uh, black people are very spiritual because of these things he said you it like a proper ass say it again that way spiritual spiritual, spiritual. You know? that go, is, go into that, spirit and, that is but, how but, my dad would have said it you get me spirit. the thing is is that personally I've seen certain things in it I've seen things I've, 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 I've you know you get 
people like um, Stavros breathing heavily thinking, no, you haven't seen things. No, you didn't see that. No, bruv, stay there with your naive self and think that black magic yeah. don't, don't because, exist. Because bruv. I support Liverpool, innit? Yeah, I'm a Liverpool I'm, I'm fan. The, I'm one, a naive one, one innit? You get me? So you stay there and that like black magic don't judge you whatever you want to call it doesn't exist bro. there is there is winch i'm i'm I, telling I, you bro. i rebuke it in jesus name there is, <laughs> there is winch that. mate i don't believe that same i don't believe in jesus none of this stuff can be proved to me and i'm not saying it's not true but i'm just saying i do not believe it okay all right so that's that's, that's me yeah well, that's fine isn't it that's fine there's nah, no problem I don't, there. I don't know boy I, just, I don't know i'm not tempting it <laughs> Wait, I'm, not t- I'm not a man that would be tempted if somebody said to me I'll do juju for you do you want me to prove it you'll be like no 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 it's okay I'm not I'm not walking in in a room where you're saying I'm gonna I'm gonna you know whatever but if you say if we do, if we do this I'll put juju on you I'll, if somebody I'm, comes I'm, to you I'll, I'll, I'll still do it spits, spits, spirit, uh, spits um, snaps in the air every time you'll be looking at them <laughs> <spider. laughs> <laughs> you'll be looking at them side eye bro. you'll be like what are you doing but it's a I big think, part of the culture I think you can it? put power in all that stuff as well I think if you believe things Thank sometimes you. it can be true and I don't believe it so so that is the I don't, same I don't, thing I don't, no, it, it, maybe, I don't put no emphasis on it it's, it's like not a faith, I'm, go, I'm gonna live my life and I'm gonna do the best I can and I'm, uh, that's, that's it fine. you can't uh, you, you this person can't dictate what I'm doing by talking to spirits or to some sort of uh, being that's beyond all of us no, it, no, no. Yeah, you're not in that much kind of, kind of control. Nobody's in that much of of a control in my life. Yeah, yeah but that's fine. They don't have to be in con- uh, in your life. Anyone's life, then, unless you allow well, them then, to be. No, not necessarily. You I, I, don't need to be a part of them or be a part of uh, uh, even their circle for someone to, yeah, or, or or for someone in the bush to do your madness, bro. The, the juju only works in that environment, is what I find. I Sorry? find I find the juju only works in the juju. I've seen it, but I, I <laughs> have juju seen community. it. Yeah, it I've seen it first hand, man. Which I've means it give. Which means what Stan is saying and, is, and I ain't giving nothing power. I've just seen what I've seen. But it. yeah, but you you have to give it power no, you, because I, I, events can occur and uh, unfold in front of you, and depending on your state of mind is depending on what you uh, receive from what you've seen. Yeah. So if you're of the state of mind that not necessarily. Okay, I'm not even going to get into yeah, it. Yeah, but you know, not necessarily. Your state of mind doesn't doesn't determine what you've seen. No, but you're you're talking about science now, eh? No, you know? I'm saying your state of mind determines what you see. We can Ob- we, both of us can objective thinking. We see something, and I see a spirit, and I see a shadow, or he sees a shadow. Yeah, it's, mm, okay. it's the same thing we're looking at. We're looking at the same thing, but it means something different to you. All right. So well, that's I, what makes it real. I don't get how you can be a Christian and 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 believer in those things anyway. No, because that, they, that, they, no, but yeah, but that make that in itself makes no no sense in itself because you have a faith and you believe in a yeah, certain. Yeah, but your faith says those things don't exist. No, it doesn't. The faith says that you that the black magic and evil spirits don't exist. Are you crazy? Okay, sorry. Go and look for it on Google, man. It's mad. Yes. I will, I, will look, I will look for I will look at Google spiritual the spiritual episode no, spirits and, <laughs> and bad things whether you believe whether you're Christian or Muslim or whatever faith you are you know that these things are a part of uh, are part I don't of know if life. they think I don't think that Christians believe in black magic they do believe that the devil exists you know exists they exist the devil exists All right. and the devil will tempt you in numerous ways but I don't know if they believe that black magic somebody sitting there blah, 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 all blah, I know blah. is as Igbo people we have this whole bubble hour thing or whatever that we have our own which is the shrine and what have you but there is no word for devil in, in our language there's what they what they mistake as devil is Equensu, which is issue. the trickster it's just issue in the yeah, well, what's that got is to do with the black magic then because because I'm talking you're about saying the, I'm that talking about the devil. I'm saying that the devil doesn't exist in our thing. So okay. our a devil it, the, the whole thing every if you look at every other um different religions or cultures and religious they all got the trickster and they all are linked to the devil. Like, like Loki, because Loki's linked to Ishu or the one that you were saying yeah. in the Ebo because that's where they all come from, innit? They all come from our, our deities in the first yeah. place. Yeah. And these are all these deities that come from, all the Greek ones come from the African ones. And Loki is meant to be the devil in, in the Greek ones or their version of the devil, the trickster, who's always trying to trick you into doing the bad serpent. things. Yeah, serpent. but this is the and, thing. Then, and then obviously you've got uh, Ishu and you've got your one again, which are tricksters that trick you to do things. Yeah. But they're not the devil. Yes, but here's the thing. The trickster didn't necessarily do bad things. They were just a trickster. Yeah. So, But they trick you, innit? They so, trick you. So the trick could be bad. The trick could be good. However you want to view it. But it wasn't that this this I, this idea of a intrinsically bad character. It wasn't well, it, that. It was but that's trickster. what the devil did. The devil tricked, you know, tricked everyone. 
That's what he did throughout the whole of the Bible. The he, was serpent, tri- he was tricking. He was tricking. He was tricking people. The serpent. You didn't just fucking serpent. <laughs> Go and eat the apple. Go yeah, and eat it. He tricked you. He tried the thing. He tricked you numerous times. He was did things to trick people. So that's why they kind of link it, I suppose. No, I hear that. But it's mad. All right. You wrapping up? Yeah, that's the end of that. Let's go. Um. So, okay. Do you want me to start off? Yeah, go ahead. At Big Wahala on Insta. At Big Wahala on Twitter. Uh, Simple? At Simple Simon FB on Twitter. I'm so upset I wasn't here at the beginning, man. Didn't get my intro in there. It's mad. Yeah, do that outro then. Yeah, do it now. Because even last week, they were, um, they were upset that you didn't do your, your whatever you, that you wanted to do. No, 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 All right, let me, go, let me go. All right, men of reputable reputation do not dress as women. We do not pierce our noses. We do not bleach our faces. We do not wear our hair in lofty aloof. There are some men that do this. They choose to dress as women. We are not those men. We are rugged. We are edgy. We wear the finest de- designers. Machino, Versace. We do not pierce our noses. We do not pierce our navels. And we do not dress like girls. Lord God, you see? I don't, I mean, why it's a boy like one of my girl, boy, yeah. No, as a boy, this big job curl thing, I am a toddler from scared them, and guess what? Lord God. Bad man, 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 man dress like girl. We know born no us, and we know me and yes, and we know we're a job curl. You know, you know, you know. Has it, has we it, look bush and bashy with the latest mosquito and the best yeah. best Versace. <laughs> has in, has in, <laughs> the actor got a pierced nose or pierced something? That actor is not a bad man. He's he's just bad. Okay. See it there. Is that, he is he a Baba Lau? No. <laughs> that was a, a that was a poem from the right honourable Harry, Harry Toddler from the Monster the Shack crew. You need to hashtag that and post that on the, the net before somebody steals your thing. You know <clears> what's that? <laughs> That idea that you're doing there, that that little thing, that, that yeah, there you go. You can, you can, you can, and pay for some likes as well. <laughs> yeah, for pay real. for some likes and retweets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. Um. Anyway, that was a fine example In this week. Circle. I think that's going to be your new thing. I think yes, it's going to be requested. All cool. right. Cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm enjoying the right honourable simple Simon. <laughs> yeah, we, we, Adaptations <laughs> of the right honourable vibes cartel was last. <laughs> yes. <laughs> So the week before is last. it the right honourable simple Simon? Uh, it's the right honourable Vince. Yeah. Yeah. I would right. like to hear from next week uh, a gospel of the very reverent Caperton. <laughs> yeah. That's your favourite, isn't it? Caperton is the baddest of them all. <laughs> Caperton is the baddest of them all. Okay, okay. Mr. Wolf. I thought he was a young man. I don't know. Mr. Wolf. Yo, what's happening, people? You can catch me on AKA Mr. Wolf on Insta, AKA underscore Mr. Wolf on Twitter. And I've got something for y'all. It is at the N Circle, which is 66 to 68 Great Suffolk Street, London, SE10 BL. It is called the Nigerian Language Speakers Club. And that is for speakers of the Yoruba dialect, Igbo, and Hausa. Mm-hmm. So I have to admit, I'm not too sure what this is. I think it says what it says on the tin. It does what it says on the tin. Um, but I'm going to try and go down there after work. So if you want to meet Mr. Wolf, Tuesday, the 20th of November, I will be there from 6.30 to 8.30 p.m. The Nigerian Language Speakers Club. I am not fluent in my language, but you should know by now that Mr. Wolf is very patriotic and I take these kind of things serious, seriously. So I'm going to try and go down there. Come down. Even if you're not Nigerian, man, come and embrace. No, don't come. It's all love. Keep going. It's all love. Come down, come down, come down. Um, I am at, uh, I am at Stavros Bus because I am Stavros Bus and you can catch me everywhere under that... Um What's it? At name, wherever it is. Monkey. Uh, Stavros says this week is the program Atlanta. I don't know if I've done it before. I think you have. Okay, because I'm looking for I'm looking through my my, my notes, and that's that's the one that I've, I, I I can't find any new ones that I've written. Okay. I've been so busy this week. But um, watch black programs. Go 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 <laughs> go! Listen to um uh uh whose album Swiss Beat album. Is it that out. good? Because I listened to it when it first came out and I wasn't too Bruh, used. It's good, man. Yeah, it's been Push out a little while, isn't it? Pusha, yeah. Terrence mm. has I, just I, destroyed I, the whole album. I skipped it very quickly. And it's like, mm. no, Push, I like mm. it. Pusha, Terrence destroyed the whole album. Anyway. 
Which album is that? Swiss Beats. Oh, oh yeah. and right. Styles P's got a new album. Yeah, now, Styles, well. Styles P has a, has a mixtape out, That's and good. it's wicked. And yeah. it's better than the, the album that I was picking up a couple of weeks ago. Yeah, and um, Exhibit's got an album out with Be Real with and, Be Real and, and the other some guy. next guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Guy's guy's the next guy. Guy. I can't remember. Is there a mixtape on album? That album mixed up. Like, it's like his mental. Is it going to be on that piff? Or no, on title, it's on title, and Exhibit is good on that boy. Exhibit's always been good. Yeah, but for, for t- people that don't think Exhibit is good, he's 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 always been good, yeah. and it's never actually released a poor album. But this one is is still good. So yeah, he's on that. Um, there's a couple albums that came and Forty out. Days and Forty Nights is is top tier, heavy album. So go whose albums that Exhibit? Oh, Exhibit Forty yes. Days and Forty Nights. Okay. And what you and see is what you get now. And that the first is one, a, a, Speed of Light. Yeah, but it's not as good as Forty Days and Forty Nights. Forty Nights and Forty Days. That, that's his top. That's his best album. So I'm talking about his best album for me. It's Forty Days and Forty Nights. Vince Stables has got a new album out as well that yeah. came out the other day called FM. I haven't heard that though. There's, a couple, there's a couple got, left. currently he's got an album out with um, Freddie Gibbs. I haven't heard that one either. I don't listen to these new rappers, man. Yeah, there's a lot of albums out, man. But I haven't, got, I haven't had the time. But we'll, I'll get, I'll get through to them. I don't listen to the new school rappers. Man. Unfortunately, you know they say there's an age in your life in there. You're stuck in that period for yeah. music. Mm, yeah, and yeah. I, that, that's the period I'm stuck but in. I'm the, stuck in the, in the midnight. I was, I was talking to someone at work who's a little older than us. And he's listened to the um, new, the new, bro, the new. He's all little, of us. He's, he's a little older he's than you. Older than and all a lot of us. older than he's, the rest of us. He's in his. He's but he's about fifty. Yeah, he's a lot so older. So he's he said that he's listened to you know late seventies, eighties, nineties, and obviously the current uh, type of music. And he says the nineties music it can't be touched. And when I was then we went into a big discussion about the R and B acts, uh, the hip hop acts, and boy, I kind of co signed that. I, it's 90s is the, 90s it's is just the best. and this no, is someone that has listened to yeah, but music from the 70s 80s he, 90s he was born and in current. the 60s <clears throat> he would probably but obviously he, was, he, he wasn't was born then. in the 60s though was he no maybe not oh just out yeah outside of the 60s but um, he might tell you that the 70s and the 80s are the best when the Motown and them lot was popping Probably, but he wasn't. Well, better, so. than, better than our stuff that we got now. But I, I think you hear a lot of people talk about the ba- 90s. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, no, he would have been born in the 50s, potentially. I was born in the 70s. So the 50 year old is going to be born in the 60s or 70s. Mm-hmm. Or, or, or 50s or 60s. Yeah. Yes. No, 50s. You yeah, he would have been 60s. It would have been it, in 60s. He would have born in the 50s. It would be 2000. It will be. It, it can be it'll born be, in the 50s. 60s. If he's more than 10 years older than me, and I was born in then. the 70s, then he can be born in the. If he was fifty, if he was born in the fifties, he can't be born in the fifties, because because we're in two thousand and eighteen. Uh-huh. So even if it was, if if you if you wanted to do it fifty years ago, it wouldn't be fifty eight; it would be sixty eight. Sixty eight. So he can't be born in the fifties. Let me do some. But it's okay. Don't worry. Anyway. Right. Okay. I relinquished that right. But oh, the nineties is the best. Mm-hmm. Who's that? Yeah, I think That's the night the 90s represented the apex. Jackson Five actually the mm. the apex between a consciousness and music technology. So it allowed yes. you to to that was the it, apex. It, it went basically from analog to digital, and it was in that time period yeah. so those music desks those uh, mixing desks that's how it kind of went yeah but mm. then at that time we were still very um very uh this is a long outro you get it. sorry we were <laughs> still very grounded so we were using i'll talk about music forever boy. live instruments mm. and putting them into synthesizers and stuff like that and record it so we were still mm. very much at the, it was the apex point and it don't was, get me wrong i love my 80s music baby. i was oh, I I, 80s, I, i've baby. gone for an 80s thing baby, this this baby. week from my phil collins to my michael mcdonald to to, to all of that stuff. Oh, I'm, i've been going for my 80s stuff but i like tonight. that 80s but i song prefer song? my that, 80s uh soul as opposed <laughs> to that who sang that song which one we're gonna drive you home tonight. Oh, tonight. Tonight. Oh, some mad name. One of them s- s- funny, funny names. In my life. You know, Yama Bida is a, is a religious song. In my life. Yama Bida. Is it? Yeah, it's about good. Imagine well, four. I, I did not know. Men that can't sing are now singing. <laughs> on the on the road. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Didn't wanna skip and jump. Do do do. You don't know what's going on. You don't know on. what love is. Oh my God. My God. <laughs> I want you to the show me. The actually destroyed itself, you know. I've been seeing that one. I've seen good Michael McDonald there, man. I don't know who that Michael McDonald freedom, is. Hold on. Sorry, sorry, what is it? You don't know who I Michael McDonald is? I can't think who that is. I don't know. I'm sorry. God damn. You don't know. 47. You can't begin any love anymore. That's Michael McDonald, bro. You can't begin. Never, never be the same again. Oh, my yes that's this Michael wasn't McDonald. how it was and Paddy the Bell and Paddy this boy. wasn't how it 
are supposed to. My mom used to listen to Jim so Reeves. So many times. Did your mom listen to Jim Reeves? Jim, I don't know. Uh, j- the name's ringing a bell. But Jim Reeves, sure man. That's a Nigerian uh, uh, legend. Well, really? he's not Nigerian, but the Nigerian uh, aunties used to listen to Jim Reeves, man. <laughs> he's honorary then, isn't he? All right, let's, let's, let's say goodbye and then we can sing these songs right to the end, anyway. All right. Um, yeah, so thank you for listening to episode 97 of the Eloquently Saying Nothing podcast. Use the hashtag ESNpod to uh, reach out and talk to us about uh, and touch somebody's hand. Make this place a better place. If you can. Yeah, and uh, talk to us about the what, what we've been discussing at ESN Podcast on all the social medias. And uh, yeah, we, we are gone. We are gone. We are gone. Oh, thou rose. Remember, if you ain't saying nothing, say it well. Slag for life. Well, obviously you know him, innit? But I don't know the names. I know the songs, innit? No, you come in after that. You give it two you don't verses. Don't have to have time to do, to do that. What we do? We are the magic.